we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with oxygen not included. We're in... Uh, we've got our water system set up. We have access to lead, albeit it's a bit spicy in the crude oil without any uh, Atmo suits just yet. And I think we had dug all the way up. No, nope, we actually haven't even seen space yet. Although we did see this uh, Gravitas shipping container that someone's using for a house. Knock, knock. We don't actually want another dupe just yet, so... We'll maybe wait a little while on that till we're sure that we've got tons of food. Uh, I'm not seeing any triple interests here, so let's just get the Shine Nymph. Should probably get rid of that nasty CO2 over there. Um, I believe we can reach it like this, right? Most of it should find its way down here. And apparently we have a bit of hydrogen in this room. Is that chlorine? Okay. Beep, beep, beep. Good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hi to you as well. And... Oh wow, we actually explored more over here than I remembered so far. Um, let's, let's explore down this way as well. Since we can obviously go quite far without any trouble that way. Although it is, it is going to take time since it's so far away. We cleared out this entire slime biome. Very, very nice. I don't recall... Uh, the, uh, what are they called? That sits still. The pips must have planted these uh, thimble reeds. That's nice of them. Very cool. Let's decon these that we don't need anymore. And I guess we can expand our base over that way now. Um, speaking of which... We can definitely dig over here. And over here, I guess. Let's leave the thimble reed for now. Very convenient. Do I need to mark, uh, mark them to be harvested? I do. What's that? And another arbitrary. Okay. I guess they don't have trouble reproducing when we have pips. Um, we kind of need to get rid of all this mess, especially since it's right next to our um, cots. Okay. Oh, hey, we have a accidental water lock. And a poor little fishy that's never getting out. Stop these from off-gassing. I don't think this one is off-gassing. Yeah, these all have a little bit of water on top of them. Got a bunch of accidental water locks down here. Well, that works, I guess. Uh, 
Hello, what's this? Seems like we don't have any building projects at the moment. So stuff like that that I queue up should get done pretty quickly. I can't remember what S is for here. S for... Sulfur? Salt water geyser. Okie dokie. I knew it was uh, something decent. And up here we have a... Pardon me. Up here we have a regular volcano. What's this? Salt water and water. Let's go take a look-see over this way. I guess there's no need to dig that out. Are we running out of any resources? 3.5 tons of algae. Dirt looks good. Reed fiber, one unit. Wow. Be gone. Are we live? Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You're late? Uh, I'm late too. It's staggeringly hot here, and I was waiting for it to hopefully cool down a little bit first. Okay. Where should I go next? Um, I think I definitely want to clean this up, except it actually extends down this way quite far. Um, let's just get some, some regular tiles over this way, and remove all of this. I guess the polluted water is going to... Well, maybe I could make a little container for it. Why did you just dig one tile? Whatever. Hurry up and sweep the slime. That should be enough, right? Actually, I should put this over here. And we're going to put a pump right about here. And I can actually borrow this uh, pipe and wire that we've still got. I foolishly, well, I wouldn't say foolishly, temporarily, I was going to say temporarily, that wasn't the idea either. I, I deconstructed a generator that we had over here earlier because it was just going to be pumping labor into a battery for no reason, for the most part. Um, but yeah, we just need to reconfigure this pipe a little bit. 
Um, get rid of that liquid bridge. And just put polluted water in here. Should be fine. Except uh, we do already have half a tank of polluted water. How did I set this up? High threshold. Low threshold is green. Green means red means don't run this. Okay. I think I could probably set the lower threshold quite a lot lower, actually. As long as we have a little bit um, and we keep this loop. Well, we do want to store a little bit for, like, arbitraries and stuff, like when we first put them in. Or maybe go 20. See how that goes. They still haven't built this? How many days do you need to construct something that's two centimeters away? Um, supplying, tidying, digging. Well... Decreased calories... That's actually really... Oh, bottomless stuff. Oh no, it's the opposite of what I was thinking. That's terrible. We don't want... A double duplicate in terms of food cost. They'd have to be really amazing. And we'd have to have more of a... More of a handle on things. Cool. We should probably be researching something. Um, we're actually getting there all of a sudden. We've got most of the stuff that only takes two researchers unlocked. Alright, so now we can... We'll probably do one more piece of... A uh, piece of tile over here just to be safe. Does this work? I don't know. Probably don't really want to let that hydrogen out just yet, especially since that's just clay. Ah, uh, the allure of a new start in Oni, indeed. <laughs> Empty Null, Morbid Dragon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Whoops. Alright, so it's that tile that we won't actually be needing. Actually, it probably needs to be a ladder. How's that CO2? It's pretty much gone already. Oh yeah, I had a airflow tile down here as well. Good job past me. Fantastic. Germs in here are basically dead. Cool, cool, cool. Uh really really guys 
Okay. Um, please dig that away as well. Did I set these for sweep only? I did not. I just need to crank up the priority. So that we automatically move stuff that would off gas, uh, solids that would off gas into underwater storage. Cool, cool, cool. What's this? We got skills. Um, looks like... Who's this? Who, who is this handsome, handsome devil? I can't tell who I got selected. Evil Pla? Evil Pla can probably afford a skill or two. Five skill points available. Hmm. I don't like the margin of only... Plus two, but it does give athletics. Which means Evil Pla will be moving around faster. Glacier Wolf has plus four. We could. Oh, hard digging is basically free. Um. I could. Go for a whole other digger. I could also give him some suit wearing to go f a, a bit more, more faster. Do we really need another digger yet? Uh, Larius? We could probably go for super hard digging. Morpheus, we need a Gorilla, fantastic. And these two are free. And... Uh, I th think... Uh, let's go operating as well. We'll make our margin plus two. Maybe that's a little bit risky. I kind of want everyone to have exosuit training eventually. Should we keep Glacier Wolf kind of specialized on... Yeah, I think we should. For the moment. And then... That is everyone except maybe Kevin. Cavern could get another two athletics, but would be dangerously close to getting upset. Uh, and we've actually got six skill points. Oh, we're definitely going this way. Three, uh, sorry, three more morale points, rather, available for Bungie Bump. And... Exosuit, Astronomy, and Electrical Engineering. That seems pretty good to me. Wow. Even Rocket Navigation. Budgie Bum is actually... Has the heart thing for Rocket Navigation. That's cool. You know what? I should remember that skill scrubbing is a thing. And maybe... Uh... Maybe go for more short-term gains with these uh, character builds in future. Anyway, everyone's going to be running over to the printing pod now. Fantastic. Uh, it looks like our research is done again. Let's do art. Actually, I... Oh. We don't, we don't need no art, at least not yet. Let's get all of this done first. 
I always go mostly full science on start. Those stat gains are mad. Oh, I keep forgetting that you get gains from science. It's just like int build in Fallout, right? Can we can we actually get this done this century? I don't understand, like, they should have relatively little to do right now, but I look around at all of these digs that I've marked out that are really close to the base, um, and like several cycles later they aren't finished. Guess we could use more dupes. Actually, it's about time. I think I'd like to get uh whatchamacallit. Where's that one plant that I'm blanking on the name of? Here it is. I'd like to get some bristle blossom farms going if I can. I'd really like to try and plan this out for, like, the long run, but... It's so hard to do that. With all the short-term needs. So, it's obviously going to be slightly easier. Actually, it shouldn't make any difference at all. Um, to have the water-dependent hydroponic builds on the left. Hydroponic farm. How big is this? Uh, wait, how big can a farm be? Greenhouse. Uh, 96 tiles. It's a little bit of a waste to have it four tiles high. Or it would be, except that we have to consider lighting as well. So then... Water... Is here, and it's as simple as that. Beautiful. Um, can we also get a where is it? Where's the farming station thing? Here it is, farm station under stations, strangely enough. And then we're going to need some Aziz light furniture, I guess. Uh, let's see. Each of these can cover seven. I can't remember if we found any reason to, like, double cover them. How many tiles is this? 22. It's one more. It's one more than what I was, than, than having these line up very well. Ooh, Oxygen, Rage to Win, BG Nyman, Guten Morgen, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. I need to try this after Astro Colony, indeed. I think I may have seen someone playing that, was that the one with all the tubes going everywhere, or am I mixing those up? Let's put this here, since we're going to have four anyway. Uh, can I possibly line these up kind of symmetrically? One, 
two, three, four, five, six. That's not the worst, I guess. I kind of like this better, I think. All right, and we're going to need some wire. Which, for now, is going to look like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not like that. Not like that. How dare you. And let's just borrow this. Like satisfy satisfactory in Minecraft, but in space. Interesting. All right, that's gonna take a little while to build. Um, can we can we get some of this polluted water pumped out already? Oh no. Um, let's also. Get some air purification in here already. Whoops. Probably should have done that a little sooner. Oh, that was quick. Don't forget the wire. There we go. And I forgot to look at priorities and say updated people's skills a bit. Should probably just go with where their skills are and we'll maybe tweak it a bit later um, if things don't go exactly where we would like. All right. Can can we not get someone on this generator? Oh, someone was on that generator. I've been wasting power because I forgot to reconnect that wire. Whoopsie daisy. It's only the battery leak that we've lost anything, but still. Can they not reach that? Why is that one red? It doesn't look like it's unreachable. It was weird. Alright, that's cool. And once we get up to, what is it, 70%? Which apparently we're not there yet. There it goes. We'll start running the water CFs until we're down to 20% for the polluted water. Mid Jagus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good luck with the game, thank you. Gonna do some Dead Cells. I love Dead uh, Dead Cells. It's a very good game. It really flows when you play it right. We need to take this out. And I guess we'll take some copper. It's actually more water than I thought it was getting added to the system. 
we've actually only got like five and a bit uh so like what 26,000 and change kilograms of water before we start dropping water uh, up to this level into the actual room it's pretty good actually still quite a decent amount of nice cool polluted water that we could take in from this general direction how's our farm going it's getting there. Outside of greenhouse. Lax crop. Colony lax crop tending. Huh. Does anyone have... No. We still haven't got anyone with those skills. All the more reason that we need a farm. Or another farm. Actually, I shouldn't... Well, we can go ahead and build it already, but I probably shouldn't be setting up... Um, a water-consuming farm when we haven't got electrolysis yet. I did want to set all of that up over here. How big should it be? It's been a minute since I did an electrolysis build that... Uh, that wasn't deliberately shaped to fit a Dreco farm perfectly. But since it's going to be so easy to bring hydrogen wherever we want it... Um... Speaking of which, I need to... What even is this? I need to get rid of the spaghetti and go back to... Should we get rid of that? Go back to the design I had in mind for... Uh, just like I've got the liquid buses like this, we want something kind of similar uh, for gases. So I'm thinking hydrogen will follow the path of water. Or oxygen, maybe. How about oxygen, hydrogen... I kind of want oxygen in the middle, actually. So hydrogen, oxygen... Who knows what and who knows what. One of them will probably be natural gas. And then... I don't know. We shall see. How's that mob doing? Good grief. Maybe I should just flood the room with chlorine. There's even germs where there's chlorine. Holy... That's nasty. What if I put the mob inside... Uh... How big can a stable be? Probably not that big. What if I put it inside where we have chlorine anyway? Kurt... boy? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, the thing is, because of the... Because of the 
various weights of the gases. Chlorine is going to fall down below all of this polluted oxygen. And we're going to end up with germs everywhere in the oxygen, right? Hello, Curti boy. So, if we have really high pressure chlorine... Yeah, I'm thinking we get l really high pressure chlorine and stick a mob in that room. And then hopefully the polluted oxygen that comes out doesn't take up so many tiles up the top that they can't get the germs removed. I don't know. Probably don't want to try that experiment in our precious water room though, actually. My bases are usually more simple tonia. Usually the whole thing smells like Oh no. Speaking of which, still pumping this away. We do have the deodorizer here though. Probably want to get one of those in here also. Um, in fact, where should I put it? We're going to need deodorizers at different heights. in order to clean all of the air in this room. God, they're taking their sweet time building this. The whole thing looks like that yellow area. <laughs> oh no. Struggled when converting outhouses to latrines. Gotta start somewhere. Once I get filtration, and I make the, the water clean, pretty much set, let me see. Uh, water CFs are pretty damn cheap, considering what they do. It's quite good. Oh wow. Oh wow, they're not keeping up, because this sort of goes 50-50, half of it goes back into the loop. Um, could I prioritize? What would the pipe? Uh, what would the shape of the pipes look like if I pr if I try to prioritize going to the water CFs? Oh, probably pretty simple actually. Probably pretty damn simple. Please build the pipes. Please build the pipes. Thank you. Please do it before the bell chimes. Come on, three more. Go, go, go. One, two, three. Yes. Beautiful. Now, the idea is we simply run the water past these inputs before they go into the loop. Um, and the way we, we've got some automation here to switch off the water CFs when our polluted water gets low enough. So that'll hard prioritize turning it back into water. Which means if we're pumping more polluted water in, uh, it's going to have more gaps to input up here when this is running. RPHL, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Liquid bridge is prioritized, indeed. So are the uh, inputs that are closer. Now it is 2575. Um. Are you sure? Well, that's not too bad either. We are going to be using polluted water for a coolant loop. Eventually. 
complex pipe system. Again, mine just combines all the waste from the toilets and just tosses it in one pit. Oh no. Yeah, it's not as complicated as it looks. Um, okay, if we look over here, you can see the basic template, right? For the loop that I have for various liquids. So far we've done water and polluted water. Um, I do the bridges here partly to force them in a certain direction and partly because just as a standard I want to be able to to run pipe through here um, at the same level as the floors. Um, so that just kind of makes it really easy to, for example, put polluted water in here or take water from here. by using the bridges. And as for the rest of it, obviously it turns into a little bit of a mess, but basically what we've got... Okay, well this this is obsolete right here, so we can remove that bit of confusion. Let's do that. And... Uh, I guess that bit of pipe isn't being used anymore. So basically we've got uh, water from the loop. Well, we can also get it from the polluted water, but water from the loop, 50% uh, goes this way. Uh, into storage. If all of these storage containers are full, um, this thing is going to start outputting to the room at this level up here. And then once those storages, well, not once those storages are full, it'll prioritize going past those storages down into these ones. Um, and then back into the loop, just like that. Maybe we could do better with the shape of the pipes here. It's probably fine. Pr probably. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty simple. We do have, let's see, when the water comes back down the loop here, uh, we've got the output from this pump connected to this bridge output. Uh, the idea being that we hard prioritize the water that's already in the loop, so if this were running... Um, if there's already water in the loop, we don't want to waste that electricity. Um, and the conditions on this pump... Uh, two conditions. First of all... There's more than X amount of water down here. So we're not going to, like, suck up the last little bit of water and waste energy. Um, and the second condition is... This liquid reservoir right here has to be completely full before we'll start taking water from here. Um, and, and trying to shove it back into the loop. That should be okay. Wow, we are not keeping up. It's probably an electricity problem. Not right now, though. Pipe blocked. Hmm. I wonder if... I probably could... Uh, I would like to hard prioritize the water that's coming in via the polluted water over the water that's already in the loop. Let's see if we can't do that. Evans on the case. Main concept of my base is one thin strip with the ladder in the center and two rooms either side. Yes, I'm doing that as well, for the most part. 
the further up or down the ladder, the more rooms you find. Symmetrical in structure, so not so in purpose, indeed. Alright, let's see. If I pipe this here, disconnect this, and put this here, then we're going to need some more... Uh, we're going to need some more pipe to get built. Please hurry up with that. No, someone was about to do it. Oh, Larry's is on the case. Oh, Larius. Fantastic. Okay, so... That actually... I was trying to go back in here. Let's try it like this. No, that's the opposite of what I want. I want to hard prioritize... the water that's coming in from polluted water over the water that's... Um, over the water that's coming in from the polluted water. Uh, I'm going to pipe priorities. Let's see. Oh, I think it's simpler than I thought it was. Let's do this. Get rid of that bridge. Um... This should be fine. Probably this was correct, because it'll prioritize going to that bridge, I think. Hurry up and make the bridge. Um, do you only trouble with that? is this water will still be able to reach the first container uninterrupted. Hmm. Hmm. If I could just put this here, it would solve for X. Um. Oh. No, no, no. I think it's this, but but I had it backward. That is what is to be done. Let's go. Please remove the pipe. Hurry up and wake up, dupes. Fantastic. And we bridge from the right to the left to this spot. And the water that's already in this pipe should take priority. I think. I, I think that's how that works. Hurry up and build it. Evil plot is on the job. Fantastic. Alright, so when the water's coming in here, this water here should get blocked. Which it does. Good, good, good. I still don't think I can do better than 50-50 normally for the water that gets cycled, but that's probably okay. Once these uh, containers are full, it won't make a difference anyway. Fantastic. Um, and I think I do actually want the input to look like this. So, the water can... If the water can go through the bridge first, it will. So that should actually prioritize things the way I want. Hmm. 
Yeah, that seems good. Nice. And we're almost done pumping this away. Still haven't built these wires. What are we printing? Uh, basically nothing. Okay. Good talk. We've unlocked all the automation. The virtual planetarium and telescope. We're almost done researching introductory rocketry. Okay, it's about time I dig this area out. I really want to put electrolysis here, I think. Although, I don't want to, like, block off this area. That probably won't be a problem, actually. Alright, let's get rid of this. This this, and what is... that's fine. Um, start planning out. I should probably use some insulated tiles since this is going to get a bit warm, I think. We're going to have insulated tiles up here. Actually, I think this is where I want to put the... Um, The gas storage and hydrogen generators. Well, no reason I can't insulate those a bit. So let's see. If we have the hydro generators, about here? I think in this area I'll stick to having this exception to the main bus width. I'll just have the three. Let's have the three tiles. Um, we need to run some... It's gonna be... A uh, heavy conductive wire. How much lead do I have? 13.3 tons. Fantastic. This doesn't actually belong here. So maybe... Do I want to do this? I could actually put them in a sealed room so I never have to worry about the pumps sucking up the wrong gas. How tall is the gas reservoir? I think it's three tiles. Yes. I think I'd like to have a couple of gas reservoirs at least this time. So that tree is where this starts. And that's a temporary farm, but otherwise generating a bunch of heat Right where we're going to have farms is not the best idea. I'd like to have the living quarters separated by gas, uh, by a vacuum from all of this eventually, actually. 
That's probably fine. Um, so, tentatively, I need to. I hate that I need to remove this ladder just to design it. Hurry up with that, please. Oh, they can't reach it now. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Things going better today? Um, well, it's still ridiculously hot, but I live. Um, kind of want the generators on the left for some reason. So a couple of... What's the overheat temp? 75. That's that's more than hot enough. You know what? We've got gold amalgam. Why don't we just bump it up to 125? So what I'm doing here is... Uh, Kind of like in Factorio, when we work backward from our conclusion, so we don't end up saying, oh wait, where am I going to fit this last part? Good time to just grab some water, I think. I kind of want to see where the automation connection is for this as well. And build. Unreachable. Unreachable dig. What? There's no dig here. It's already done. What? What do you mean unreachable dig? Okay, whatever. Probably the cleanup? I mean, they can literally jump up here, so... Alright, let's have a look. Don't really care where the wire connection is. Automation wire connection is on the left. Maybe I don't care about that either. So if we have, I guess there's no need to have the gas pumps necessarily ne uh, next to them. But I need to put the gas pump like here. I'm pretty sure the one... I can do the math again, but I'm pretty sure one gas pump is going to be way more than we need. Um, let's go with a couple of these. And there's really no need for... for this part to be quite so strictly insulated. You know what, just for the look of it, I feel like putting these one tile down. And we'll just... Probably just have this open, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think the insulation is necessarily needed.
I don't know where that question mark has come from all of a sudden with that Streamlabs prompt, but okay. Chatbot. Red Envy. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Glacier Wolf, welcome also, if I didn't say so. Okay. Maybe I should push these at least one tile. No, they're going to be connected to the main bus for power. That'll be fine. It did. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um... So we're going to want... Did miss my dupe question. Uh, happened when you went to get a drink. Oh, okay. Named a dupe Glacier yet. I think I have, yes. Glacier Wolf. Um, I do have like four requests still pending. We got Sloder, Kedara, Sigma Bean, and Buvim. I need to almost double my colony before we can name all of those. Alright, looks like we're just about ready to mock this up. Fantastic. Just wanted to make sure I did not exist before I requested again, indeed. Glacier is chilling over here. With the fancy hat. I guess I I don't have any excuse not to why did I just try to deconstruct those? I don't have any excuse not to start on... I don't think we need this anymore. On the main bus of power cables. Except that the dupes will... need their fainting couches because they hate the look of anything that helps them survive. But they'll just have to live with it. And... Uh, I guess for now, a wire bridge over there? Automation wire that says. I think we can just connect these directly. Or connect it to just one of the gas containers. Basically, say if that is getting full enough um, green signal. No, we need a not gate. If we're supplying, then the red signal and green signal makes sense. We need a not gate to invert that signal for when we're deciding to consume it. And then we just set up our pipes so that... Um... If that's the one we're reading from, we probably want to set it up so that that's the last one to fill up, right? Yeah. In which case... That's wrong. That's, that's the exact opposite. Um... We want to go from this output to this input. And this output to this input. Lovely, I've made it so that we need spaghetti. They need to like crisscross. Or I could just 
do like I did before and connect these like so. And depending on where we do the input, if if I if I have the gas input connect up here, then this one will be a high priority, right? That seems fine. And then this will go on to supply our gas loop. Cool. Just mount a tank upside down, indeed. All right. In fact, we could probably get away with... No, that doesn't go where I want. Oh, that's actually kind of gross. Um, I kind of want this to be the hydrogen loop for the gas. Was this it? Yes. But then this is in the way. Hmm. Is that actually a problem? It might be. I might have to make a little exception here. Is that layout going to work for how I want to have pipes going off into a room to loop it around to exchange heat? Let's see. I might have to do things a little different with the gas, at least for the coolant loop. Probably going to make it even easier, actually. Well, I mean, if, uh, to be to make it super easy, I could do something like this, but then uh, but then nothing. I could just remove that. That seems fine to me. Assuming that I want a more or less uniform uh, temperature system for the whole base. If I want both to be possible, I would have to have some gas shutoffs based on the temperature in here. Sigma bean name a dupe? Uh, you've actually got one already. <laughs> From last week, uh, I'll, I'll refund you that one. Yeah, you're already in the queue. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, by the way. Okay. Um... Well, no, this is easy. This is super easy. I could always just do something like that. It's actually perfect. Okay, so we've established that's going to work out. You have a dupe stuck under those gas tanks? Oh. Morpheus. Thank you, Empty Null. Um, okay, what about how these pipes are going to go past this nonsense? You know what? I could just, uh, just have it connected to the loop, right? That's not actually going to be a problem. I don't think. No, that should be fine. All right, let's uh, do it. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I like uh, I like the Looney Tunes cartoon logic where the Pip doesn't realize he needs to fall for a moment. All right, what do we got? Um, doctoring, decorating, ranching is not what we're looking for. Unfortunately, we really need someone with uh, a crop tending skill. What the? What? 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 Did Pips? What? Do Pips plant trees in hydroponic farms when we're not looking? They have been busy. Well, the only thing I want growing here is bristle blossom. Um, but actually, I don't want it growing here until we've got um, a infinite water supply that we're exploiting. Which means I don't want this powered yet. So I guess for the moment, these can all just be mealwood. And I do have to take these out and uproot them manually. Uh, thank you, but no thank you, Pips. Good try. One job, indeed. Uberon, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so we're going to have about here, I think, should leave us more than enough room. And this doesn't actually have to be insulated. We'll worry about that a little bit later. So I want a gas pump. Gas pump. Um, it is actually more efficient to have the big gas pumps. Just for the look of it, I was considering doing the gas wall pump up here. But it is actually a bit less energy efficient. You get 40% of the throughput for 50% of the power compared to the vanilla gas pump. And it actually, considering the way it sucks in tiles of gas from I think here and here, I wonder if we're actually getting less throughput from it if I put it up against the wall like this. I don't think so. I think I would have noticed when I've done this kind of build before. Okay. So we're going to need some electrolysis machines, electrolyzers. Um, we can fit quite a lot of them in here. Like, far more than we're ever going to need. That fits very nicely. And... Well, actually, if I put them right next to the door, the hydrogen could escape into the into the wild, I guess. Yeah, I think I'll do an airlock door down here. Um, one swisher of the design. No, I should just put the. What am I saying? I should just put 
the electrolyze is a couple of tiles up. That's more than sufficient. Um, but that said, I could seal the room to make sure that we need... We don't need any filters for gas pumps that suck in oxygen. The only trouble is... Well, I'd need to do one of two things. Either I would have to pay electricity to suck up oxygen from the room, um, which is, I think it's 120 watts, but no, it's 240, right? Um, where, where am I looking here? Yeah, 240 watts for one gas pump. 50, 500 grams per second of oxygen. Um, if I seal the room, we have to pay for every bit of gas that comes out. So with, there's no oxygen that just finds its way down this way. Um, if I don't seal the room, then the gas that I do suck in uh, has to be filtered, which is 120 watts. But uh, who knows when and how much of other gases are going to find their way in here somehow until we get things all sorted. I think I like the idea of sealing the room. Uh, dupes will come in here with and, and off gas CO2 though. I just realized I probably want to put this higher so that it can be on a tile that the dupes can walk under. So about here. And we'll do some airflow tiles like so. Damsel, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I just realized I'm not going to be able to fit that many electrolyzers because... Uh, because we need a tile or two for ladders. What are we making? Uh, we're making electrolysis. And I don't think they can reach this right now, so... Electrolyzer. So the ratio on these is 1000 grams per second of water. Makes 888 grams of oxygen, 112 grams of CO2 per second. We also get a bunch of heat. Uh, actually, because it's easy and you never know, let's just make this out of gold amalgam. For plus 50 max temp. I think we did that over here. We did. Alright, we're gonna need some automation. We're gonna say... Um... I think we just needed like a... Uh... Gas element sensor plus a timer, a buffer gate, would be a good way to do this. And 
No, I think we, ne we needed like two, right? Because we want to say... If we detect hydrogen for like five seconds straight in this tile, it's probably safe to run this uh, gas element sense, uh, this, uh, sorry, gas pump for five seconds without a filter. Okay. So this will require a signal for five seconds to activate. Uh, this will hold on to a signal for five seconds. And then maybe one of these down here. Ceiling collapse. Uh, Kevin, what? How? How did you even manage? Physically, how did you get up here? Oh, oh great. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Switch that off. We do not want to be sucking in salt water to go into our polluted water system. Falling gravel on the ladder? Yeah, but he shouldn't have even been up this high. Can we mop this? I hope so. Well, there's no more pollu- Oh, there's a little bit of polluted water over here. Uh, we can probably go ahead and get rid of that liquid pump. And then reconnect that so we can deodorize. Alright, that's gonna go there, that's gonna go there. Uh, these are gonna be configured to. Oh, they're already configured to five seconds. That's perfect. Uh, and this will be looking for hydrogen. Cool, cool, cool. I'm pretty sure we want to run the electrolyzers unconditionally until max gas pressure. Alternatively, I could... I could actually check that we've still got plenty of water. So that we stop running electrolysis when water gets down to the level where this container isn't full. I could just borrow from that wire that we've already got. So we'll still we'll still stop running electrolysis if we run out of water, but running out of water will mean leaving enough water for other systems to still work, at least for a while. All right, and then if we if we find ourselves low on oxygen, and we go and look at what's happening, we can go, oh crap, okay, well we can at least start using uh, this water that we've got as an emergency. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so that, I think, is going to go through here.
And I'll just double check, but the condition on this, it should just be green input enable. Yes. Doesn't actually read anything. Fantastic. I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Excuse me. Up that salt water, please. So I've obviously got an infinite water source here. The trouble with it is it spews out a lot of heat. Um, so basically I need to have heat deletion before I take advantage of that. To get heat deletion, I need plastic. To get plastic, I can either use oil, which is a big, messy, heat-producing production chain. Or, um, alternatively, I could get some glossy Drekos. P3 Cottontail, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your Australia Day? Um, didn't notice, if I'm honest. Very hot, most likely. Which which was it? Yeah, it's it's been too damn hot. Okay. Polluted oxygen up here. So unless I only allow dupes in this room when they're wearing a spacesuit, which I eventually want to have dupes uh, only wear a spacesuit in like, or only not wear a spacesuit in the living areas, um, but I can't really set that up yet. So, in the short to medium term, um, I'm probably just going to have this open. Which means I'll have to filter. Um, just like we're doing here. Uh, filter in any... any oxygen that we input to the system. Um, I think I'd like this one to be oxygen. So that's going to go there. Um, this would go here. What's this mess? I don't think we're using that anymore. And let's just remove all of that for now. What's this supposed to be? That was temporarily for putting in chlorine. Let's remove that. Uh, we should probably be printing something. Cooking, suit wearing, decorating. I need someone who can... I don't think we've got a rancher either. I need farm tending and... Uh, farming and ranching, basically. Alright, so I guess we're going to skip this one. Basically. Evil Pla... Uh, I guess that's fine. What are you do? You have got to be... 
So apparently Evil Plur has been running back and forth, unable to decide which way to go in order to not suffocate. Probably because this tile here maybe keeps flickering between carbon dioxide and oxygen, maybe? It does. So he keeps changing his decision about where he's going. Hi. Hello? Toxmiss, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the bit. Yeah, that's kind of aggravating. Um, I don't really want to run a carbon skimmer all the way out here. What can I do? Oxygen mask? That's a little bit of a pain as well. Decisions are hard. Welcome to my life. Nephew. Okay. Welcome in. So we need some water input. Um, where's the best way to place to do this? Just like that. Easy peasy. And I need a, po a proper central power system. As opposed to whatever this mess is. an awful lot of chlorine we've still got down here. What's the pressure in here? It's pretty low still. Then again, until we have the spacesuits, I don't really want to increase it too much. The dupes will have their ears popping. All right, there's our water for the electrolyzer. One kilogram per second. I believe we can move, is it 10 kilograms a second? Yeah, I think it takes two gas pumps. Or one liquid pump to fill this up. To fill up a pipe. So we should be able to support... Based on the pipe alone, uh, we should be able to support as many electrolyzers as we like over here. Um, if we were to put... 5, 6, 7, 8, that would be 8 kilograms per second, which is... Less than half of a pipe. Which means this 50-50 split here shouldn't be a problem. Cool, cool, cool. Now then. Do I have a carbon skimmer? All the way down here, yes. Fantastic. In that case... Maybe I should take advantage of coal for now. We do have 60 tons. It's going to make a bunch of heat as well, though. Well, we don't have better choices right now. Let's go ahead and throw in some coal plants. Or maybe I should put them down here where we've got... Uh, 
where the CO2 is going to find its way straight down here anyway. And we'll have... There's already a bunch of heat down here. It's not going to make as much of a difference. We need some smart battery. Do carbon skimmers delete the heat of the CO2 they delete? That's a good question. Um, overheat temp is going to be 55. We're already at 41.9. I don't want it to produce that much heat anyway. Could I maybe automate it so we don't cook ourselves? And... Is Uncle Veldak cool? <laughs> yeah, Uncle Veldak seems pretty cool to me. I might have to change the... I, I, I might have to increase the threshold for text-to-speech, though, at this rate. Also, that bit announcement still seems louder than it needs to be. Oh, I remember this. I've literally got the volume... F I've literally got it on the lowest setting I can put it on. Hmm... What am I gonna do? Resample the sound file? That makes sense. I forgot they used water. The temperature of the output of polluted water. Oh yeah. That does make sense. Okay. So we're gonna say... Green signal when we're low on battery. Red signal when we're full on battery. And... I can't really, in, like, inject a red signal. I would need an AND gate if we're gonna bottleneck it on temperature as well, just to be safe. Which is not that difficult, actually. Uh, thermo sensor. Easy as that. I was waiting for the dupes to finish this so that I could put in the setting. No! Evil Pla, why do you tease me so? Okay. Um, so overheat temperature for this uh, smart battery is 55 degrees. Let's say if we're below 50 degrees, that is one condition uh, to run these coal generators. And I should probably put a storage bin for coal here. Toxmins, thank you for the follow. Please don't leave slime lying around. It's already a high priority for you to sweep it away. The famous 99%? What? Laz, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I wish Oni wouldn't uh, zoom in and out on the left when I'm scrolling chat.
off screen. Okay, so I want this to be kind of a high priority. Fuel request threshold. I could probably set that lower. Um, if we have a storage bin here, which is just for coal and high priority. So then the dupes won't have to make as many trips. Um, consumable coal. Fantastic. Don't really need to put 20k in there though. I think. So someone should be moving coal down this way. Oh, that was quick. That was... significantly quicker than I expected. Uh, and then we just need to... Connect this over here. Our folks today, Sol Sh Sol Shinnery. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's a joke in that sentence somewhere. Which? Faster than expected. Lots of things are faster than expected. Okay. Cool. Uh, there's our battery. There's our... Wait, is our electrolyzer running already? Disabled by automation grid. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, do I need a knock gate from this? Yeah, 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 I do. Um, how about over here? We want to run the electrolyzer when that container is full, not empty. Cool, cool, cool. So water is a source of oxygen now, and more importantly for the moment, hydrogen. In it comes. And... I'd really like to get those other gases out of that room. I don't suppose the oxygen pressure alone is eventually going to do that. I find it rather curious that they supplied this coal generator, but not the other two. That's honestly really weird. Are we printing? Farming. Um, and supplying and suit wearing. That's actually pretty good. Kitchen menace. Don't care. Plant murder. Mm. You were almost the perfect recruit, Harold. Well, the perfect recruit would have, at the moment, would have farming and ranching. But, like, supplying and suit wearing? That's actually great. You can move stuff around like crazy. Uh, 
whenever you don't actually need to do farming work. And it'll speed up your farming work. If only you weren't a plant murderer. That's... That is such a tease. Decorating, suit wearing, operating, don't care. Let's just skip this one. Oh, Harold. Have we explored further over here? I think I should dig through here so that the next time someone runs out of oxygen over here, they don't almost suffocate because they keep swapping, deciding which way they should go. Please dig this out. Nope. Well, I guess they're just going to be able to reach this oxygen up here at this rate. Oh, there we go. No, what are you... If you'd just dug through here, you would have had oxygen. Every time they come here, there's a little bit more CO2 as well. Oh my god. Please. Please do the dig. Please, please. Just, just a little bit of oxygen into this room. Yes. Yes. And it's all going to find its way up here anyway, isn't it? Well, now they can start reaching oxygen here. That's actually a pretty big help. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a plant. I thought that was like a crack in the background. Pips? Yeah, I love pips. How far are you at SE? Uh, I'm just at the point where I'm finally doing my... Uh, standardized outposts with spaceships. Seems to me all all doesn't care about that map. Oh. All right. What are we doing back here? We are making hydrogen. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's going to be a while, actually, before we have enough, because um, I made this room kind of big, that we detect hydrogen here for five seconds straight, and we put some into the reservoir. Uh, that's okay. But no. That is fine. Once we do have some, I want to... I want to steal it. I should probably just start work right now on a critter ranch. Should I just do a normal shape uh, ranch? Or glossy dracos? What is this? Did someone wet the bed? Probably not. How did this polluted water get here? It looks an awful lot to me like someone had an accident, but... Hey, what's this? What's this? What's this? We have a iron volcano? Hell yes. Hell and furthermore, yes. Uh, so I believe we've got... Up here it's a regular volcano. Yeah. 
Over here we have an iron volcano. And down here, way down here, we have a copper volcano. Very, very cool. Very nice. Isn't that the second iron volcano? No, I've never had an iron volcano before. We've also got a natural gas geyser over here. And... Uh, I think we have a crap one. Yeah. Uh, CO2 or something like that. That's why I've marked it priority one. I, I know it's garbage. I mean, I'm sure you could exploit it super late game, but... Right now it's not very interesting. Uh, and yeah, we have... Um, a steam vent for water. I think we found a second water source down here somewhere. But it was also another hot one. Can't remember where it is, actually. Hmm... Anyway. Oh, we're at max gas pressure already for oxygen. So this thing's going to be slowly chugging away as the oxygen find its, finds its way to the rest of the base. At higher and higher pressures to a point. Obviously, we're consuming oxygen, so it is just a matter of time until we have hydrogen here. I think I'll pump... everything in... this room? Into this room. So that we get our hydrogen over here. Let's do that. Just some temporary pipe. And we need a vent. We can't make high pressure... Oh, I thought we needed plastic for this, or am I thinking of... Um... Yeah, no, we do need plastic for the high-pressure vent. I don't think we're going to be needing it just yet, though. How much is on this wire? 970 watts. And that's no good. Um, I could probably cut this off for now. 790. That's that leaves us 210. Potentially. All right. That should be fine for the moment. Iron and copper is so lucky. It really is. And it comes out refined. So, I'm not really going to need a metal refinery for refined iron. If we're that patient. I can, I can have only a metal refinery for steel. Oh yeah, this thing. Uh, this is salt. Salt water. It's uh, it's still rather hot though. So just like the uh, cool steam vent, we're going to need heat, heat deletion before we start taking in water. That's why we're 
getting all of this polluted water added. Aw, poor little Puffed. Stuck in a bubble. How's our polluted water? Looking very good, actually. Very, very good. Why is there a little... little gap here? I wonder what consumed it. I'm not feeding any arbitraries or anything. Where did that little gap come from? Oh, probably the... what is the ev? No. No, if the water sea evs run, they should run until we're down to 20%. Because the signal from a reservoir acts as a latch. Tidying, ranching, cooking. We do need a rancher. And I wouldn't mind a spare cook. Unable to build is totally fine. Um... <sighs> Decreased decor morale bonus actually kind of really sucks. Hmm. Also has electrical engineering and that's going to waste. We're going to be stuck with any dupe that I take forever. This is not the one. We, we need farming more than we need ranching. And we do need ranching, but we don't need this many drawbacks. Unfortunate. Slickies, indeed. I can't really handle them right now. I don't know if they'd just find their way down here if I left them to their own devices. I don't think so. Oh yeah, look at this. We got some random oil flashed to petroleum and sour, gla uh, sour gas. Because for some reason, this tile is much, much hotter than its neighbors. You monster? What? They're just eggs. So crude oil flashes to petroleum at 399.9 degrees. And at 538.9 it becomes sour gas. Yeah, look at that temperature difference across these three tiles. 75 degrees, 75 degrees, 1126 degrees. Eggs are people too. Uh, Phoenix, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's taking a surprisingly long time to dig this as well. It's so far it's so far into the CO2, and that's probably why. Oh, they, they have oxygen masks down here. Are you are you doing that one job at a time? Uh, like one person delivers and then one person builds? Well, at least you did two jobs. Anyway, uh, what are we doing? It, what? I, I definitely told them to mop this. Oh. Well, well, there's your problem. That's, that's why, that's why polluted water keeps finding its way over here. It 
It's fine. Don't worry about it. I don't actually have a good place, like, permanently to drop off polluted water that comes in bottles. Hmm. How's our hydrogen? It is getting there. Little by little. Even if I had more electrolyzers here, it wouldn't actually speed it up because it's bottlenecked on the gas pressure from oxygen. Okay. Or Arbitry. Maybe I should uproot it and the pip might move it again. I guess we can keep looking up this way. And down here doesn't really pose any problems either. Except for how far away it is. Hmm. I think I will put a carbon skimmer over there. As much trouble as it's going to be, it's going to be less trouble than the dupes gasping for oxygen. Alright, pipe input bottom left, pipe output top right. Um, that's actually sort of a problem. I'll have to, like, add some tiles down here. Because they're going to dig this out. Is that actually a problem? I don't want them to get rid of a free wheezewort, though. How about this? It's actually a lot of pipe. Uh, this is already water. And I totally forgot I was waiting for these things to be uprooted so that I could copy-paste the settings uh, so that we have uh, mealwood in all of these planters. But the pips must have, must have done their thing already. Um, but yeah, could this pipe be water? Uh, technically, I guess, what if we do a bridge? Like that. That, that, that's going to be super convenient. And then, polluted water... Back into the system. Right about there. Well, let's let's do it properly. Actually, straight into that bridge. Or straight into that bridge. Or both, to prioritize it, kind of. Uh, and then we just need some electricity. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is actually a lot more than I was realizing it would be. How much power is on this wire? Only up to 420. That's fine. Um, but I guess I'll get them to prioritize this because as long as this needs to be done, any jobs over here are going to be really inefficient. going to take him a little while to finish that. It's so weird, but kind of cool. That bit of heat difference there. I'm surprised... Hmm... I mean, I guess Abyssalite doesn't transfer heat very quickly, obviously. But with how hot this is, I'm surprised that any of this is petroleum, as opposed... I, I guess when this gets flashed to sour gas, it goes up here, and then more crude oil comes in from the sides. Why are those storage boxes underwater? Because some, uh, some materials like slime, for example. Um, once we dig out slime, it starts putting out germs. Or, well, whether we dig it out or if it's just exposed, like, to the, to the atmosphere. Um, if we dig out leech stone, it starts off-gassing chlorine. Uh, and we don't want that when we're storing it. If we leave it under the pressure of water, it can't off-gas. So that's a couple of things that we store under water, and why. Oh no! Can the dupes not reach these? Okay, if I temporarily remove some of these mesh tiles, I'm guessing that liquid reservoir is going to be, like, not working? But it'll probably keep the water in it. Yeah, I, I sort of thought the dupes would be able to reach through the mesh tiles, but just because air and water can go through them, I guess building guns can't reach through necessarily. Evil Pla's gonna show us how it's done, and then... This build is no longer unreachable, I imagine. Where does it say if it's reachable? There it is. So these three, these three tiles here are reachable and this one isn't working, but it's still holding water. Morpheus, thank you very much for the 13 months. Much appreciated. And welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Um, this one? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, either one of these. Just going to deke on those until this stuff has been built. Oh, 
and then we'll put them back. Because we don't want to be doing that stuff from below, because the water's going to go bye-bye very, very quickly. So we should have pretty uniform temperature. Um, it's actually significantly hotter up here. I'm kind of surprised. Hmm. I would have thought even with regular pipe. Um... Oh, the water temp here is... I thought the polluted water would exchange heat with the water in this room more aggressively. Even if we're not using insulated pipe yet. Oh, sorry, uh, the opposite. Researching, doctoring, suit wearing... Suit wearing, decorating, researching... Farming? I don't want to take what, someone with only one interest. I really don't. Okay. We can replace that one. And that one. Rip slickies? I can't... I can't house them yet. What, what do you want me to do? Never forget? Oh my goodness. Where am I gonna do... our ranching that we still don't have? I'm thinking up here, perhaps. It's still fairly close to where the dupes are going to live. I don't want to bother digging into this chlorine just yet. So I think this is the obvious choice. So we want probably 96 tiles. Uh, yep, 96. We still have a couple of thimble reed plants that the uh, the pips have planted for us. I'll leave these ones growing. Actually, I really don't want to have to redo this um, when we've already got hydrogen in here. So, let's not do that, actually. And once we have our hydrogen in the loop, I'll just pump some in here until we have hydrogen all across the ceiling. And we'll just control that manually, because we only need to do it once. The only trouble with this is if the oxygen pressure were to lower enough, um, then the hydrogen would actually get out. Let's try to make sure that doesn't happen, I suppose. And we're going to have critter drop off. Not that we can use it yet. Oh, and we're going to need some, some meal wood. I could just have a meal wood farm in here. I can't make it a combined room, right? That's both a 
both a greenhouse and a uh, and a stable. Oh, I need to actually find somewhere. I could leave this polluted water here and just clean up the air with deodorizers. I guess. Actually, no. Do it like this. Just let it off gas until there's no more polluted water. Suffocating? Oh, okay. Let's get that replaced. Seems a good. And I should probably already... Put some radiant pipes in here. So that at least where the water should always be, or will always be, the polluted water can exchange temperature with that more aggressively. Fantastic. How's this build going? Better than I thought. Will the dupes be able to reach all of that? I th think so. They haven't done a single bit of this radiant pipe yet. I guess that makes sense. And... Yeah, we're back to waiting and waiting and waiting for builds to get done. Where did we find that iron volcano? Way up here. That'll well and truly be out of the way. We probably want to get a conveyor system to bring the iron back to base. Oh hey, did we get that hydrogen out of here? I believe this is nothing but oxygen, so yeah, we can probably can probably stop that now. Okay, whoa, this is more advanced, indeed. Actually, instead of deconning it, let's just open it. Stock Rebel, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, we're up to 77k calories, so we can almost certainly uh, support another dupe, maybe even two. Look at Evil Plug go. Helps that all of this has been supplied already, but still. Absolute star. Oh good, we've got a little bit of oxygen over here, even if it is polluted. Oh, 
Let's find out if all of this is reachable. Um, looks like it. Yeah, we're almost there. I'm thinking I could... Uh, I don't have plastic yet. Nevertheless, I could make a start towards building the luxury dupe housing in this general direction. It's probably a bit early. So I found my first steam geyser. Do I have to wait for it to go dormant before I can do anything to it? Uh, as in, if you don't want the dupes to get scalded? Kinda. Hey, it's a finished. But I don't see any water coming. That's why. Because I temporarily cut it off. Oh, hey. Copy settings. And what the heck is this? No dusk cap. It's not where that goes. This is all mealwood until we can support an indefinite throughput of water. Speaking of which, I was thinking of putting farm tiles up here. So these will all be um, uh, mealwood. And we'll mark some of them for... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, to not be harvested so that the Dracos can eat directly from them. Digging, cooking, building, not what we're looking for. Farming only is not what we're looking for. That's unfortunate. Yes, we eat fish tonight. Umbat. An epic struggle. <laughs> Larius, did you just 99% kill a fish and then jump onto the manual generator? Good grief. Hey, we're deleting CO2 over here. Fantastic. That's going to be a lot more accessible in the near future. And we're actually doing some other builds now. Maybe I should have just left the fishies in here. Alright. How close are we to getting some hydrogen? We're actually maybe 60 something percent of the way there. Mealwood in hydroponics. Yeah, it's temporary until we can support the throughput of water. Then we're going to change it to... Uh, uh, what's that plant called? Bristle... Blossom?
So once we have a bit of plastic, um, then we can make some steam turbines, then we can delete heat, then we can take water in from cool steam vent, and when we get down to it, salt water, hot salt water geyser. What temperature does it output again? Um, I don't know, but the fact that it doesn't say cool... Oh, here it is, 95 degrees. Almost hot enough to... Um, almost hot enough to flash to steam. And we pretty much get the same temperature. Um, as far as we're concerned, we get the same temperature of water out of the cool steam vent. Once we... well, maybe I could do it a little earlier. If we're pumping water into electrolysis, we can use the excess hydrogen to run the anti-entropy thermonullifier. Which... Probably... Oh, that's perfect. Um, let's do some insulated pipe. Down this way. And it's gonna line up with where we're gonna have our hydrogen loop anyway. This will do for now. I don't really want to cut into where the hot water is just yet. So we'll do a little bit of spaghetti for now, I think. is probably fine. Actually, that's not quite right. Is this okay? Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, they're getting to it quite quick. Lee. here, and then I guess we're going to be cracking open this uh, chlorine. Nothing for it, unless I dig this down here, which I probably should for the moment. No, I don't want to get rid of the wheezewort. Let's leave it. Okay. So we want some radiant pipe around the AETN. Which way was input? Uh, right side. So it's going clockwise. Okay. So we probably just want to run like so. Gas bridge, like this. Radiant pipe. 
Wait, I thought radiant pipe had to be made of... Uh, ref... Huh. Radiant liquid pipe has to be made of refined metal, but... Radiant gas pipe? Does not. Fascinating. Um, yeah, that should be fine. So we basically just run the hydrogen past this uh, heat deletion machine, uh, which runs on a little tiny amount of hydrogen, and the rest goes back up into the loop like so. And this is going to be a higher priority for hydrogen. Um, then our hydrogen generators, they're not really used for power, they're just to delete excess hydrogen. Metal is not a good insulator. Uh, most metals. Yeah, no doubt. But um, I'm just surprised that there's a difference between the uh, liquid pipes requiring refined metal and a radiant, and radiant gas pipe does not. Um, that door has only one function, and it's to tell Morpheus, no, you may not go down this way. Because Morpheus kept... Morpheus was sick, and kept trying to pick up, like, lead that was way down here, and was getting scalded, and couldn't move fast enough to get out before dying, basically. Which was not great. There is a reason gas in a pipe has much less total heat capacity than liquid in a pipe doesn't need as much conductivity. That makes sense. Oh. Um, we need a... We need a tile here. Need a dispenser here. Right, that's going fairly smoothly. How's our dirt? I have had a habit of running out of dirt when I was learning the game, because I took it for granted, and it's needed for mealwood. Is this light? Shock enough. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so once again... <laughs> Uproot all of these, please. Why is that red? Oh, because it's growth halted. Copy settings. And this is how we're going to feed our Dracos. Although we only need a few. Um, I think it's five, if not six, um, mealwood to feed the maximum number of Dracos that fit happily in the largest, uh, why is this not a room yet? Uh, in the largest stable. Grooming station? Oh, we don't have a grooming station yet. Whoops. I just happened to leave room for it, though. Grooming station. Fantastic. And since we won't be using a food drop off, uh, that's actually all we need there. Alright, researching, supplying, building, tidying, doctoring, digging. Not quite what I'm looking for. Um, so I guess we'll just take some brine. 
Yes, it's mass 10 kilograms liquid per pipe section versus 1 kilogram for gas. And then specific heat capacity 4 versus 2.4 for gas. Yeah. So it's basically just because it's not needed. Although I wish it gave us the option. Um, because if we were to somehow run out of raw copper, iron, gold amalgam, wolframite, um, we would have to make it out of steel. But that's not that bad. Alright, this is now a stable, room size 96 tiles, fantastic. Now we need just a little bit of hydrogen um, pumped up here. Let's just extend our loop up this way since we're going to be doing that anyway. You know, now that I remember, I kind of wanted to put both of the coolant fluids on the same... It's fine. It's fine. I don't believe we're using this pipe anymore. We're not. So we could definitely do this. And we want to take hydrogen from here and put it in here. Actually, I wonder if it would be better to pump it to the middle of the room. Quite possibly. And I actually could automate this, I think. Hmm. Hydrogen's going to be the lightest gas, no matter how low the air pressure in here gets. And I, I, I presume you only need a tiny amount of hydrogen for it to count for the Dracos to be able to become glossy Dracos slash make plastic. Or well, they, they need hydrogen for whatever grows on their back to grow back, right? Regardless, um, I'm pretty sure if we have an extremely thin layer of hydrogen up the top of the room, um, that's actually going to be functional. As long as every tile across the top has hydrogen in it. So I, I think I want to go for the minimum pressure of hydrogen that accomplishes that, so that... If we end up having less oxygen, the hydrogen probably won't spill out. It only grows while they're in hydrogen. Yeah, but it doesn't matter how much hydrogen, right? If there's even a tiny amount of hydrogen uh, gas pressure. What the heck is this? Why is it broken? Because it was too cold. Oh, wow. Um. Um. If I had insulated this pipe, would that... Would that have been sufficient? I doubt the water moves fast enough for that purpose. Hmm. 
Especially now that we've deleted all of that CO2. We could probably just remove this now. For all the work that it took to make. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm more than a little bit surprised, though. I'll leave the wire there, because it's, like, extra work to get rid of it, and who knows, maybe we'll find a use. Oh, there's a pip egg over here. There's two pip eggs over here. We have a lot of wild pips. Kind of like it that way, to be honest. It means plants actually reproduce. And this is the only part I don't like about it. I don't have a, I don't have a way to wrangle the pips out of here yet. Um, how about I just open this door? I don't really care if the Draco wanders off. Um, like we need ranching to get any use out of the Dracos. On second thought, um. Even if it's a wild Draco, if it stays in hydrogen, it might start producing glossy Dracos, right? So let's leave that door closed. What did I just click? Enable disinfect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copy settings. Why is it? It's toggling it. I didn't realize it did that. Alright. Hurry up before the... Before the pip beats you to it. Oh, he's, he's eyeing up this... He's eyeing up these tiles. Yeah, there we go. I do want to let the pip out. But I... Hmm. If I open up both sides, then maybe we can get an opportunity to make that happen. If they don't spend much time in the hydrogen tiles, plastic production will be very slow. Yes. I don't think pressure matters in itself, but you'll want as many hydrogen tiles as you can manage. Yeah, the only way to do better than this would be to make a vertical room, but I just don't feel like doing that. Lauren, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Speaking of hydrogen. Oh, it's getting there. It is getting there. Hmm. I wonder what the refresh rate is on the gas element sensor, for example. Because we're definitely getting moments of hydrogen on this tile. But I'm not seeing any activity on the automation. Uh, but anyway, once we have... Once we have enough... Maybe I should also... Uh, it's kind of annoying somehow how... Uh, sometimes how green is 1 and red is 0. Because I'd have to have an AND here if I want to say stop running the electrolyzers if we detect hydrogen down here, for example.
I suppose... Oh, I don't need an end gate for that. I can just put it here. So we're going to say... Gas element sensor. If we detect hydrogen down at the level of the bottom of the electrolyzers, whether it's because oxygen pressure is lowering... I mean, it would almost have to be that, right? I think it would probably have to be that, because we're immersed in oxygen now, and max gas pressure is reached. So I think it would only happen if... Uh, if oxygen pressure was dropping. But then, this is how we make more oxygen. Uh, actually, I've got a better idea. Let's put... a mechanized airlock. It doesn't actually have to be powered. And we'll put a wire bridge down here. Might need a knot gate, actually. Or I could just have it detect oxygen instead. So, what are we looking for? Oxygen? So it's open if we detect oxygen here. And it closes if this is no longer oxygen. But we'll still run the electrolyzers. So, if we have some... Uh, some temporary emergency where we're running out of oxygen, hydrogen starts coming down this way. We'll close that door so the hydrogen doesn't spill out. And let's just suppress the there is no power message here because we're never going to need it. And what is this? No gas output. Oh. Sure. Let's just connect those so they stop complaining. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Very convenient that you don't need power for the, uh, the doors to work. These are all bad. Let's just get the salt water. And I really could just make another gas pump to steal some hydrogen, but we're almost there anyway. We're actually bottlenecked on consuming oxygen. Or I guess I could just expand... You know, if I did more digging up here... Then there'll be a bit more room made for oxygen. Oh, gross. <laughs> this guy's living in polluted oxygen. I'm mildly bummed out as I either finished off a package of cookies or have misplaced it. Unfortunate. Someone keeps drinking all of my water. 
Probably me, but... Wait, why is this broken? Too cold. I think it's... I think it's too cold because there was water in here. Not because the pipe can't tolerate that temperature range. You know what, let's just decon this. And this as well. Alright, where were we? Colony lacks critter ranching. You don't say. Hadn't noticed. Alright, for now... Um... How many is it? Eight, I think. Eight Drekos we can have in here. For now, if we're gonna wrangle Drekos, we'll bring them in here. But I'll change that to glossy Drekos later on. That should probably have a tile. I've actually almost finished this. Very nice. We do do do. I'm surprised how little progress has been made over here. Volcano just above base looks dangerous? No, it's perfectly safe. What's the worst could what's the worst that could happen? I, I ask you. What's what's the worst thing that could possibly happen? Is that little guy stuck there? Probably. Probably how that is. Volcano is a gift, indeed. Hmm. Uh, our wild Draco is eating mealwood. Uh, off the trees, even though we haven't marked them to not be harvested. I wonder if we could just have this many mealwood trees and not bother marking them not to be harvested. How many Drekos that would feed. Okay. How is Project Hydrogen? Surprisingly the same. It is very slowly filling up. We need to open up new areas for our oxygen to fill up. Is this vacuum? No. Pressure's rather low here. Oh! Oh, another volcano. Uh, it's right where our main bus is supposed to go, but this high up I don't particularly care. What do we got? Cool slush geyser? It's not in a very convenient position, but oh, okay, I'll take it. Let's go. We've got everything. Uh, this run. We've got Cool Salt Slush Geyser, we've got Regular Volcano, we've got Iron Volcano, we've got Copper Volcano. What more could you realistically ask for? I, I guess a Gold Volcano, but I've never gotten remotely close enough to 
worrying about, like, infinite gold. I suspect no one has. I need this seed. Um, this is it right here. I'll post it into the Discord. Uh, oxygen not included. Volcano own the volcano. Uh, all salt slush guys. There we go. In before you'll need to start heating your base. I don't think that'll ever be a problem. Um, all right, let's drop the cryo here. And the only problem with this is the awkwardness of digging around it. So I guess, um... Well, I think what I should do is just have the water bus go up here. And we'll do the processing to turn it into water on the spot. That should be fine. Figure out exactly how we're going to go about this. Um... I could just put the machine right next to it. Should we go left or right to go around this thing? If this is the main bus, let's go to the right. And... Get rid of that. Well, I need to have a... I need to have a bucket for it, right? So, something like this. Why is that? Must be built in unoccupied... Oh, because the volcano is there. Um, make it a little bit wider, I guess. If I went to the left... I could put this here... One, two, three, four tiles. One, two, three tiles. So this is better, right? And again, if they're coming up the ladder, they'll be on the left. But they'll be using the pole to go down anyway. It doesn't really make much of a difference. Let's do it this way. And dig all of this out. Is that bleach stone? Yeah, it is. Okay. I wish we'd discovered that a bit sooner, but 
How much can you really complain when you get a cool salt slush geyser? I mean, I have been kind of putting a lot of stuff on hold until I had heat deletion. So there is that. Having a water source that's not hot, though, that is... Mm, that is a thousand out of ten. Why did you kill the Weasel? Oh man, oh well. I guess we can put this here now. Clock out the moment that they start some salt water falling through the base. How's our skills? Budgie Bum is just Barely holding it together, everyone else, so is Glacier Wolf, everyone else has two or three morale to spare. I need some morale bonuses. This is a mess hall? It needs to be bigger to become a great hall. And it needs a decor item and a recreational build. We've got that. I think this thing is, uh... Okay. If I just expand it this way, that'll be enough. Let's get a hanging... What? Two. And... How big did it have to be? Uh, at least 32? It's already 36. Huh. Really? Oh, whoops. Apparently I have 149.238 mealwood seeds. Not entirely sure how that works. But I'll take the game's word for it. D Hose, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I have expected this. Okay, let's put a bridge here. And hydrogen will 50 50 go into the loop or go into. Uh, into the hydrogen generator. Actually, the only trouble with this layout is... Uh, it would have to be full enough for the hydrogen generators. No, 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 that's fine. The hydrogen generators are switched off unless this is full. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's confirm... That our loop is working, and I guess we'll take some omelets. Very nice. And then we want some earth leaf. How about buddy bud as well? How's it going? Uh, too hot. It's been much too hot. And the next week is going to be much too hot. Looking at 40 degrees Celsius every day. What? Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I forgot to leave this disconnected. Okay. Well, that might just happen to be uh, the amount of hydrogen that I wanted to put in here. Let's hope. I want it to spread across all of these tiles, but I want it to be quite thin. I think we need more, probably. Probably. But yeah, I should have left that disconnected. That is... 1,500 grams of hydrogen. So maybe it will spread out like that. Let's hope. It does have a habit of jumping down one tile. Hmm... I hope this uh, shape of the room is going to be sufficient to contain a bunch of hydrogen up the top without it ever leaking out to the side. I think it will. We've kind of seen that happen before. I think. Maybe the room's too long for that. Um, but yeah, this seems to work okay. Alright, how close are we to salt slush? Not very. Probably help if we dug this out. Should we knock on the door of the hermit? I think we can afford the food. On average, we're going to get someone pretty useless. But let's see where this goes. There we go. What is this machine? Uh, this one? Which machine do you mean? Knock on door. It's a toggle job. Morpheus is on the way. Morpheus is not on the way. They're gonna go to bed before anyone goes up here. I can feel it. God damn it. Alright. Cavern, knock on door. Now no one's going to be sleeping until... Was that it? What? What? Did Cavern just give up on a job that was emergency priority? Went to sleep, but I had it set to literally top priority, like they won't sleep until the job is done. Bruh. Yellow, yellow alert doesn't stop schedule. Uh, probably need to knock multiple times. I, I think they just didn't finish the job. I'm really surprised though, I'm pretty sure I had Toggle as... Oh. 
Yeah, toggle should be very high priority. It's not often we need to toggle something, and when we do, uh, we need to toggle. This is... This is taking a while. Okie dokie. Initial contact was a success. Our new neighbor seems friendly enough, though extremely shy. They'll need a little more coaxing. And a little more coaxing apparently means 60 watts. Okay then. How about we prevent slime lung from spreading over here? And food and decor? Oh my goodness. It's not going to be worth. I can see it now. They're going to be... They're going to have such horrible stats. Also, I didn't realize I didn't do this earlier. If you click on it, there's a checklist. Deliver food to the mailbox. Um, apparently it has to be spicy tofu. Improve nearby decor, turn on festive lights. This had better be uh, the greatest dupe of all time. Oh hey, fluorine gas. I don't know how much use we can make of that. Picky Hermit, indeed. Bailey Jun, iteration. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You also get to unlock his character skin for next games if you unlock him. Okay. It's taking a surprisingly long time to get the cool salt slush geyser. Hey, we do have hydrogen in the loop here. Could we'll probably go ahead and let that in over here, though. But I want to be a bit careful. How much have we actually got? A few thousand? And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I want to let just a few tiles through. And then see how that looks. I want it to spread across the entire ceiling without any of it leaking out of the room without having to bother with uh, airlocks or anything. It's not behaving. Okay, we can obviously take in a bit more. Um, I'm thinking we can probably take in all of this hydrogen for now. Yeah, that should be fine. Your hydrogen will spread and leak if your O2 levels drop, I'm aware. I'd say it's better to have a separate room dedicated to growing fur and shedding. It's fine. What's the worst that could happen? A bit of hydrogen spill, we can deal with that. It'll all end up up here anyway. What's the game about? 
Um, well, it's a colony sim, but it's pretty different. There's a lot of engineering to do. Um, so, for example, I think a steam turbine is probably a decent example. We don't just slap the parts together like in Factorio. Um, you have to worry about the temperature... Uh, you have to worry about insulation for the steam room, you have to worry about the temperature that the buildings can uh, can support before overheating, depending on the material you build them out of. You'll need a loop for water. You'll probably want to use thermal aqua tuners to suck heat out of the water and into the room, or whatever fluid you're using for a coolant. It's a lot. Care about dupes sometimes? Super advanced fallout shelter. <laughs> Let me just cut this off, because I'm pretty sure we want all of that hydrogen. I guess I could just... Hmm... Uh, uh gas element sensor... And a knot gate. While well, we detect no hydrogen in this tile, we'll let more of that through, just in case I forget it for too long. Suit wearing, operating, cooking. These are terrible. Not a fan. Alright, so that's going to be hydrogen. As long as we do not detect hydrogen here, the gas vent will be open. Oh, wait. Uh, I think we got it. Actually. I think that is about the amount of hydrogen we want. So it is about... It's fluctuating so much, I can't get an average. Maybe 900 grams per tile? It's so much less over here, though. Well, whatever the case, we've got our... Oh, I don't have room for a shearing station over here. Um, but yeah, we've got our hydrogen up the top. Now we just need a rancher. All right, so let's see. Uh, where do we find? I don't think it's a station, is it? Refinement? Sound of weird. Desalinator. That's what I'm looking for. What if I just put it right next to this thing? Oh, it needs a pump as well. I mean, we could put the pump on either side. Desalinator and pipe. and pipe. Uh, 
That should be polluted water. Wow, it's moving. Oh, I was going to say, why is it moving so slowly? Um, I don't think we need that pipe there anymore, do we? No, we're not using that. was for. Hmm. Oh, they already built this? Vegas. That should get the job done. We won't have water cycling for a minute, but it's still getting where it needs to Go. What was that? I didn't even get to see it, so it probably wasn't too severe. Cool, cool, cool. What kind of... Mor oh, wow. Cavern's morale is through the roof. Good meal? Can we rely on that? Probably not. Grizzly meal, negative one. Yeah, so we should probably assume negative, negative nine morale uh, compared to what we've got here. Evil Pla is ready for some exosuit training, I think. And... That was another good meal. Damn, we gotta get some good meals, like, always. Uh, Larius actually does seem to have... Oh, they had a standard meal. Okay, so let's assume negative five. That's still, like, five skill points to spare. Let's finish super hard digging. And... That's probably fine for now. Actually, improved carrying... That'll do for the moment. Morpheus can probably spare a couple of points. I'm not going to risk it just for that. What was the polluted water pocket there? Uh, where? Over here, maybe? No? The water will constantly freeze in the desalinator pipes. Uh, the salt water comes out at negative 20, I believe. Negative 10, even. It is not that cold. It's just cool enough to reliably lower the temperature of the base as we cycle water. Actually, you should probably leave that until we're finished. Negative 20 will be frozen water. Yeah, it comes out as... Wait, what? Oh, this is different. It comes out as polluted water. Freezing polluted water. Huh. 
Last time I had a cool slush geyser, it was a cool salt slush geyser. Um, so we got salt water. This time it's it's just polluted water. We don't need a desalinator. Oh, that's even better. Oh my god, that is... That is so much better than I thought it was already. Because... Because now... Uh, so, so, so polluted water goes to negative 20.6. Um, before it turns to ice. Yeah, uh, we're going to be... Whenever we add polluted water to our system, which is what we're going to use for coolant, um, from this uh, cool slush geyser, it's going to be negative 10 polluted water. We can use that to supply our regular water as well. And it's going to cool the base, like... To begin with. That's fantastic. Is it germy? I don't... It might be? Good question. I guess I could put some chlorine in here if it's... If it's a problem. What other ways do I have to clean germs? I can detect germs, I know that. And there's an ore scrubber. Removes germs from ore, but not from... Not from fluids. Remove salt or salt from brine or salt water. Nothing about germs, I didn't expect that. Tepidizer is for water cleaning, but you would lose the advantage of cold water. Tepidizer. We do have a room that cleans germs out of our water, but that's only the water that gets stored like this, and, and we've kind of prioritized the reservoir. Although, I th think... I think the germs in these reservoirs got removed, but not the stuff that's underwater. Why does this one radiant pipe have germs. It looks like it's about to disappear. It's trending towards zero, but it's slowing down. Now we're in the single digits of germs. There it goes. That was, that was different. That was weird. And now there's some over here. What? What? What is this? That's bizarre. Alright. Um, we're gonna have to mop this water. Because... We're gonna be putting this straight into the polluted water... Uh, pipe. Welcome to Oni. Indeed. Guitar Guru. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, there's no... There's some CO2 in there. Okay. Please remove this water. Make it a high priority, actually. Remove as much as we can before we dig this out. Oh, we got all of it. Fantastic. I have changed nothing, and the Streamlabs chatbot 
that said the same thing earlier doesn't have a question mark attached to it this time. I should probably use a different chatbot. Priest Zero, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, someone gonna dig this out? Oh, it's sleepy time. But I'm excited about this. It's... Yeah. Unless it's spitting out a million germs, this is actually just perfect. Polluted water. Larius is on the case. Good job, Larius. And now we can analyze this thing. And Budgie Bum's already doing it. It's not erupting yet. So... Who knows how long it's going to be before we find out. Probably would be better if we didn't have CO2 in here, but I'm not going to open this up until... Actually, we can block swap it, can't we? I could use an airflow tile that somehow blocks liquid. Let's get that... Uh... Get that CO2 blowing out of there. Bungie Bum holding his breath while doing scientific analysis. It's got to be a little bit tricky. Evil Pla is on the case. Fantastic. CO2 is going to take its sweet time draining out of there, but... It'll happen. At this rate, Budgie Bum might finish the job, but nope, we've got oxygen dancing around him. Can at least catch a breath a little bit sooner. Alright, we're like 40% done on the analysis. What do we find over here? Nothing. And... Nothing. That takes long, the analyze thing. Yeah, it kind of does. What do we have here? Farming, yes. Doctoring and suit wearing. I don't think... I don't think we've got a doctor yet, do we? Or maybe one doctor? Uh, nope, no doctors. A farmer doctor, that sounds great, and suit wearing's always nice to have. Cannot do research, this is fine. Calling someone who is a doctor a yokel is a bit, a bit harsh. Or calling anyone a yokel might be a bit harsh. Okay, farming, doctoring, suit wearing. Who is up? Sloder is next. This is Sloder. Fantastic. Welcome aboard. Now we need to do your skills. Or your one skill. Farming, by far the most important for now. And maybe I'll just have you do critter ranching as well. Um, skills, wait, no, Pri schedule, priorities, that's what I meant. Oh, everyone's on high priority for farming because reasons. Although, apart from Cavern, the people who are relatively good at it 
are not getting around to it anytime soon. Actually, I don't want you building. I know you can't research. Don't want you digging all that much. Uh, doctoring, yes. That should be fine. Oh, and we need a new bed. Maybe I should start another barracks. So eventually, how big can a barracks be? Uh, 64, which is here. And I eventually want to turn it into luxury rooms. Private bedroom, 24 tiles. That's a lot. We could only fit a couple and change in the same room we could do a maximum size barracks. Oh well. How many is this? Eight. Whoop, what did I... Okay, we're good, we're good. Please build the cot first. And once that room is finished, I might move these beds. Oh, then again, they're not really doing anything. They're not in the way right now. Cool, cool, cool. Now then. Budgie bum is 60% done on the analysis. 4.3 kilograms per second. I'm pretty sure a liquid pump can go way higher than that. Yes. Okay. Negative 10 degrees. Uh, erupts for like half the time when it's active. So we're getting like two kilograms a second during its active period. That sounds like a lot. Maybe I should have made a bigger... I mean, it's not too late. I could make a bigger um, bucket for this. I could either extend it out horizontally or I could put the pump below the actual cool slush geyser. Or both. Active period is usually about 50%. Nice. That's a lot. Oh, and we need some power up here. Alright, it's a done. Uh, let's see, next activity... Oh, oh, that stings. Average output is almost a kilogram a second. But next activity is not for 60 cycles. Ouchie. Ouchie. Well, that doesn't exactly solve all of our problems right now. Ooh, we've got more hydrogen running through the system by now than I expected. Um, I wonder if it wouldn't be premature... This really needs... No need for this here, is there? Oh, there might be. Um, but yeah, I think we could probably start using the anti-entropy thermo nullifier. to cool the base a bit with excess hydrogen. Even just running it up and down the center um, is helpful at this point. 
Oh, I needed to fix this. Okay. I have to take a little break soon. Um, we need a shearing station, which is bigger than I remembered. Wanna be careful? Oh no! No 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 no! Go back inside! No! No! I don't! I don't want to have to wrangle this guy. No, he's on the floor. Go up, 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 up. Keep going. Keep going. You can do it. I believe in you. Are we just now getting to deconstructing this? Come on. Oh, that's aggravating. That, that's annoying. What's the wrong, what's wrong here? Growth halted fertilization, so we haven't been giving them dirt. Oh, they haven't, they're fully ready to harvest, actually. This is actually the perfect opportunity to cut off that tile. And hopefully the dragon will come back up. Yes. Now build this with all of your might. Before he goes back down. Yes. Go, 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 go. Evil Pla, you absolute champ. Fantastic. Nice. Very good. Very good indeed. Now we just need a rancher. Although I really don't care until we get some glossy Dracos, which could happen naturally. We also got the pip out of the room. What if I just open these? Are you idle? You are idle. Um... Huh. Well then. Let's do a little make work here, just so we can explore. But I'll lower the priority. And where else do we want to go? Up here, maybe? What is that? Gritter Fluxomatic. Analyze the evolutionary dynamics of critter mutation. So you can start mutating critters deliberately. What happened with O2 in the base? Uh, what do you mean? We've got plenty. You usually get 25% from water geysers, as in for the overall. Fifty-nine cycles before we get some water out of this. Sad. That is a little sad. Do I have enough for this? Yeah, I kind of do. Let's just keep using wire a little bit. And I'll put a transformer up here for now. Just so that we can run some cheap wire up here. Stop using this. I got 
tired of building, procrastinating by launching rockets to collect Arku spheres, indeed. You don't like decor, do you? There's there's nothing for it. The game doesn't want you to be able to have decent decor in most places. The dupes despise the look of anything that keeps them alive so much that it's like not worth the trouble. A comment comes from Heavy What Conductive Wire. I'm not going to make like a separate shaft just to hide the conductive wire. That's very silly. Food has decayed. That's not even part of our production. Are we actually still gaining hydrogen, even with only the one electrolyzer? Oh yeah, wait, doesn't this thing only consume like 10 grams per second? Well, this can produce 112 grams per second, but that's only if it's running constantly, which it isn't. But it looks like it's got enough uptime. Uh, let's see. Call it 14% uptime. So... That should be more than enough. Yeah, we should still be gaining hydrogen. No good dupes. Dupes got to work under dirty circumstances? What do you mean dirty? Alright, we already have this thing powered. Now we just have to wait 58 cycles before it's going to be of any use. But what a use. Oh, wait. I wanted to add some automation here. Uh, we're just going to get... We're just going to check on water pressure. Oh. I didn't leave room. Um, should I do it up here? No, I think that's a bit much. Let's just remove this piece of ladder. And we can do the hydro sensor down here without needing any extra space. We're just going to check that the water pressure is high enough that the pump isn't going to be wasting energy. Probably means that massive decor malice will translate to poor morale. We can compensate in other places. Probably should switch to heavy watt wire, but I want a main bus. I, I want one one big um, power network that we can actually have an organized branches from, as opposed to several little random, like, to a lesser extent, what we've already got. Um with separate wire networks because they can only take one kilowatt but uh, I want one main power network and I'm not going to go to the trouble of like running heavy watt wire around the base just so that we can hide it behind some walls that's ridiculous I will be using transformers, yes, where I have to. I'll 
lucky decor is ignorable in Oni. Yeah. I mean, I think it's... I, I think it's really quite bad, honestly. Um... But it's not, look, it's not just the heavy watt wires, it's everything. Everything except for, like, where we've got some... This isn't even working, what the hell? Oh, pressure. Why, why is there only 150 grams of oxygen here? Uh, I guess I need to distribute oxygen. It's not enough to just get this area up to max pressure and expect it to find its way around the base. Um, do I want to use this one for the oxygen? Probably. So what I'm going to do is just have a number of gas vents. Um, I'm going to need to filter let's put it like here. Technically we could have up to eight of these but I'm sure we don't need that. Actually, how much does this produce? Uh, 888 grams per second of oxygen, and this only takes 500. But I'm sure the 333 grams per second of oxygen just pumped into this area um, could find their way out of the room. Anyway, um, we're going to have... You know what? Let's put it over here. We're going to have one... Gas pump per electrolyzer potentially, and just put it in here. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure we could just run that in a straight line, uh, except for the part where we need a filter. That's actually kind of important. Uh, let's see. I mean, technically, there should never be anything else in this room, but we're going to assume there will be. Gas filter, we could probably fit about here. Don't really need that ladder anymore. Uh, here should be fine. I think I'll put it a little bit higher, even though I'm sure it wouldn't actually be a problem. I'd like to put the output vent for anything that isn't oxygen at the very bottom of where the hydrogen would go. So, oxygen is going to find its way in. That's hydrogen. Oxygen is going to find its way in here. And... That can go there. And then we need some power for it. Oh. Can I actually... yeah, I can. Let's just do the heavy watt wire around here, and... I hate to say it, but if I'm not... Uh, I don't have enough. Uh, I guess I'll steal from this wire for now. I don't really want to have to put in another transformer later on. So we'll just run more conductive wire over this way. Filter is reversed. Oh, true. Filter goes like this. Fantastic. Alright, so what we're going to do 
Hmm. Nope, that should be fine. I was going to say it'll be a problem once I'm doing uh, plastic tubes down the middle, or transit tubes, but I can just do it here. So I'm going to do a gas vent for oxygen on each floor, or maybe every second floor. And we're just going to check pressure. We're not going to we're not going to try and push it to 2,000 grams per tile, because that'll just take forever to fill up. Wait. I just said I probably don't need it every floor. Probably don't even need it every second floor, but it's fine. Probably. Although... Well, I was going to say the gas vent would mean I can't put stuff here, but most things that I want to put here are only two tiles tall anyway. So then we're just going to connect some Atmo sensor. Right about here. Oh wow, I'm really low on lead already. I can't actually afford the last one. Um, am I still using this? I don't think so. I should go get some more lead anyway. Except that involves people getting scalded at this point. Uh, maybe I should try... Getting the oil to all fall down this way. There's really relatively not that much lead this time. Oh, I could dig over this way? And then we don't even need to say hello to spicy hot oil. That'll be a decent amount for now. Deep cooking time? Yeah, I prefer to avoid that for now if I can. Still 120 watt times amount of selected gas? Uh, what do you mean? To filter the gases? I'm already using a gravity filter for the hydrogen. Um, but for the moment, until I have the dupes in spacesuits, uh, except for when they're in a living area that's going to be about here. Uh, it's just a lot easier. Because look at this polluted oxygen here, for example. I can't count on no polluted oxygen ending up in here. And when the dupes come in, they're going to exhale CO2. Not that they'll have much uh, reason to come in here most of the time. Did it? What? Did... Okay. Uh, the hatch got squished, but he's okay. Just a guy who needs help. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wrong bus? Uh-oh. Wait, is it? Oh, when I was about to connect it here? Yeah, no, we're fine. This is fine. I'm going to say I'm surprised how long they're taking to build this, but I think I had the game paused. Oh, is that more lead? No, it's iron. Uh, we may as well... I think that's lead. May as well explore out here a bit further as well. Yes, iteration. I am literally already doing that with hydrogen. Alright. 
right, so what are we setting this to? Uh, that's actually kind of perfect. Below 1,000 grams. If uh, atmo pressure is below 1,000 grams, output oxygen. That we take from here, where it's like up to 1,600. And we take it from right below the electrolyzer, because this thing's bottlenecking on maximum gas pressure. A different sorting me mechanic? Or the kind of thing you have to go to a forum to find? Um, people are idle, I need to give them make work. There is make work. That's weird. Morpheus? I haven't, like, forbidden Morpheus from digging, right? He's not incapable? Um, let's see. Uh, bio... He's not incapable of digging, he's sitting here idle anyway. Even though we have a... A few jobs. Unreachable? Oh, Morpheus can't reach there, but why... Why is it saying it's unreachable for other dupes? Why... Why are there no oxygen masks here? Bruh. No pending deliveries? What do you mean? Did they drop their oxygen masks on the wrong side of the... ...of the checkpoint? That might actually be it. I'm gonna decon this tile so the... ...oxygen mask checkpoint... Oh, I can just disable this building. And then we'll see if they can... What? What? Did Kevin just come up from below? There are oxygen masks here. What? Okay. Why did it say... Oh. What happened here? I th think some tiles cracked from the pressure of the fluid that we've allowed to fall down here. Okay. Um, so we should enable building. So I think our masks have been accounted for. Why are they taking so long? It's not bedtime. What? Where are the masks? You're running on the... Larius. Why are you like this? And Kevin as well. Put oxygen mask back. Oh, don't go back down there after you just gasp for air. Why are you like this? Where, where's the mask? Oh my god. They didn't take off the mask since it was disabled. It, it hasn't been disabled for a minute, though. Okay, so does it now say 
Well, it would say this is unreachable because those tiles collapsed. Alright, how long until we get some... Some nice, cool, polluted water. 56 cycles still. How, how is it that it always feels like a cycle goes by in two seconds before the dupes drop what they're doing? But whenever we're counting down the cycles for something to happen, it seems like 600 years. They find the loophole, even if it's there for a second. They really, really do. Okay, we have oxygen masks. Fantastic. Um, they might have a job over here they can re- Oh, that was relatively quick. Um, this is what I want them to do, first and foremost. You know what? We can just skip these ones. They actually seem to move faster when they're parkouring across tiles like that. Alright, so is someone on the case? Evil Claw. I wish you could, like, follow mode by double-clicking them or something. Because actually clicking on them and going follow cam at high speed is, um, a tad tricky. Brain seems to be attached to its mouth. Assume, or maybe this is the brain. <laughs> Wonder what this is then. I search through the computer database and find an unredacted email. Another set of masticated windshield wipers. Masticated windshield wipers? I wonder what that's about. Purple looks like a lung? Uh... It's a pretty big lung, but I guess, yeah. Dupes are master trolls? They absolutely are. What do we got? Ranching? Three, three stats? Please no bad trait. Unpracticed artist. Decreased creativity, decreased... Oh, increased decor morale bonus. That's actually good. We are absolutely getting Abe. Now we finally have ranching. And decorating. Not that we care about that for a while. Although, I do have... Pl I will have plenty of room for some statues going up the main bus. Although, I, I presume it's just not going to be enough to counter the heavy watt wire. Um, alright, so skills... Oh, wait, wait. Name first. Kaydara? Welcome in. And... Let's get you some skills. Uh, we need to get you to critter ranching first and foremost. Almost. I need to actually pay attention until you level up. Uh, priorities. Kedara. It's going to be ranching. And then farming. And then everything else. Apparently a little bit of skill in doctoring. 
That's fine. Uh oh. The fact that there's chlorine everywhere suggests a really low air pressure. But we've got like 1.5. Yeah, we've got like 1.5 kilograms of oxygen per tile over here. It's just really bad at spreading. Oh, I didn't set this filter yet. Is it powered? I think they just stopped powering it. Uh, if I had a bit of lead still, I would connect these, but that's going to have to wait a moment. Um, but yeah, unfortunately we have to wait till this thing is completely built before we can set filters, so you have to either watch it like a hawk, or come back after it's done. Breathable gas, oxygen... Uh, and now they're going to sleep with hardly any oxygen. We're also going to lose some hydrogen here, I think. Despite being so careful about it. That's really annoying. All because I couldn't set this filter while I was building it. While I was putting down the blueprint. Oni? Glacial gas? Yeah, the way... The way it equalizes pressure is... Really strange and slow. Took away the automation for the... Wall? What wall? For this thing? That wasn't doing anything. That was for emptying out gases other than chlorine. Alright, here we go. Oxygen. Output here, output here, output here, output here. Actually, it looks like it's going to be in the reverse order, which is fine. It's going to go until we reach one kilogram per tile uh, in that area, and then it's going to move on to the next one. Actually, it's good that it's starting here, because then we'll lose less hydrogen from this room. Pressure's going up. Oh, come on. Oxygen finds its way to this tile, and yet the hydrogen jumped out after I saw that happen? Rude. But, yeah. And it'll sort itself out now. I'm surprised at how much chlorine we've got at these levels, though. Shouldn't have found its way down here. It's pretty strange, actually. Oh! Oh, god damn it! Oh no! Oh no, I thought this was not even powered. Okay. Well, there's your problem. Yeah, when I disabled the automation here, I thought it was set up in such a way that uh, this wouldn't even run without the automation. Or with or without it. Okay. It's fine. And now we're getting more hydrogen because 
Uh, because we're keeping the pressure here a bit lower. Why is this? Because this isn't powered. Alright, I definitely need to prioritize getting this connected. Which means... You know what, I think... I think a few tiles of of heavy watt conductive wire heading up here can wait since we don't need it for 50 something cycles. Fix it up so that the oxygen thing is always running. Gotta be careful about not putting wire plus uh, heavy watt conductive wire on the same tile. Please hurry up and decon that. And go. There we go. That'll be a significant reduction in duplicate labor as well. In fact, if I had more lead, I'd just turn this into conductive wire and connect all of these. Oh, do we need this still? What? Uh, kind of yes, but kind of no. I think I should use it to get the chlorine back in place. Let's cut this off. And then once that's gone, put this here and connect this here. That'll supply the oxygen masks. Set this to chlorine. And then connect like so. Oh. That's a start as to cleaning up this mess. Theoretically, I should... Yeah, that's why we have the filter. Theoretically, I should have uh, two gas pumps here. But considering the pressure is dropping here, I think it's probably not needed. We're still going to bottleneck the electrolyzer on gas pressure a little bit. It's probably fine. Oh, and... Uh, how much cooler is the base getting? That's a start. Temperature over here is negative 60. Negative 64 almost. It doesn't quite want to hit negative... Oh, there it is. Negative 64. So our gas comes back at... Negative 22 by the time it gets to the base. Filter is 500 grams per second, is it? it doesn't say anything about it. I thought the filter could keep up with a full pipe.
pressure's not very good here still. It's getting there. It'll go a lot faster once the oxygen mask input is saturated again. Can't really do anything about that. The uh, storage capacity of the pipes is not quite trivial. And I might have to put some pumps in some other places. Uh, actually, I can definitely solve some of this by just putting an airflow tile here. And here. Other side isn't so easy. I mean, I could just let chlorine fall down to the bottom there as well. We're going to have to... Well, I was thinking of claiming that chlorine at some point, anyway. Alright. How much lead do we have left? Only less than two tiles of be what conductive but we're getting there there's our copper volcano i launched 50 collectors at one location it gave me 18 spheres <laughs> ouch remind me is it diminishing returns per location or is it diminishing returns per location and in general at the same time with the Arcosphere collection. Oh, we can see space. Um, let's go up this way then. Looking forward to getting back to Factorio this week. I have a patch that I have to apply to my dispatching system. Um, I haven't confirmed it, but I'm pretty sure, just thinking it through, that one, uh, one situation that I didn't really anticipate, it was shockingly easy to saturate... Um, Immersite cave core fragments, and if we are saturating them, we'll actually end up with, if we're not consuming them all, we'll actually end up with uh, n number of spaceships queuing up to drop off um, that particular type of core fragment. Tidying, suit wearing, researching, don't really care. Animal lover? We got plus science and we got decreased science. Good job. Uh, why don't we just let a pup let in? Have fun. Where was I? Uh, yeah, so I need to either... Either I can subtract from the number of ships that are on their way to an outpost when the ship gets back, as opposed to when the ship is on its way back. Which is not very convenient, just for the shape of where we can squeeze in the combinators with the existing build. Or, um, I think I described this on the old Discord. Uh, let's see. What did I say I was going to do? Borrow the central timer channel. So we don't need any more dishes. Transmit a signal if core fragment, whichever type is full, at drop-off. And if that signal is detected at all of the outposts for that type of core fragment, we just won't send a signal back home. So ships will never get scheduled to go there, as long as the, uh, the drop-off for it is full. 
which does mean we have to keep consuming uh, those core fragments in order to make sure that the ships get sent to resupply space elevator cables and so on. But that was a feature of our build all along because we didn't do separate ships to resupply those things. We're just shoving them in the hauler ships. Each location has its own pool and there's a shared global pool as well. One rocket launch is applied to both locations. So it is both. I guess global pool has different parameters. I launched 237 total and about 129 spheres on global pools. About half at this point. Local pools is 18 versus 50, which is about a third. Yeah, that's about what I would expect, actually. So how many locations would you have to get significantly deep into diminishing returns before it's not even really worth going elsewhere? Depends how far you want to go, I suppose. How many arcospheres you want, because how fast do you want your mega base to go eventually? It's got to eventually hit a point of it's going to take that much longer to do that it's not really feasible. So far I launched five rockets in all locations. As in Every single asteroid field? Oh my god. That's a good start. I guess you're going to find out the practical way. Oh hey, we're getting lead again. Oh, we're about to get lead again. 18.75 tiles of cable in that one block. Fantastic. Alright. Oh, we have someone with ranching, right? Or not yet. It was slow though, wasn't it? Here we go. I think we can get away with critter ranching. Do we need ranching one or ranching two? To shear the Dracos. I haven't actually wrangled this one yet. So we can't shear it. Pressure is the problem for this mealwood. Now that it's going to be not wild, um, we're going to have to make sure that we don't harvest some of this stuff. I will definitely automate it before I just went on a road trip around the local star cluster. Stellar cluster. I also visited solar systems to take screenshots of pyramids. Five rockets gives five spheres. Do, 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 do. Is that Draco going to have to come down from the ceiling before we can wrangle it? Kedara's already got ranching as his top priority. Oh, there it goes. It's looking very grumpy. And then we're going to move it two tiles, and now it's our gecko. Uh, gecko? Draco. It's going to get groomed soon. Where is Sloda? Oh, here he comes. 
Oh, he liked that. And... He is 99%... Oh, 98% wild now. Minus 50% per cycle. Minus 55% per cycle because groomed. And 5% per cycle passive. Oh, oh, okay, so the minus 50% is the net total. In two cycles, he'll be um, completely tame. Uh, assuming that we keep grooming him. And feeding him and such. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and we've already shaved him. Not that we have any desperate need for reed fiber. I always get way more reed fiber than I ever need just by harvesting it from wild plants. Especially if we have pips to plant them so close. 19% glossy Draco egg chance, indeed. He's already 102 out of 150 cycles. So he should be... Uh, making an egg relatively soon, I imagine. Or is it only when he's almost dead? No, I don't think that's quite right. They call me Snot. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Evil plot. You can, you can go ahead and just dig out sand that's dropped in a place that I previously ordered stuff to be dug. That's shouldn't really need to be said. Um, how much does it take? Pump moves 10 kilograms per second. So if we've got 50 kilograms here, we should have about 50 kilograms here. Now let's not count on that. That should be fine. All right. Plastic soon, TM. And then once we have plastic, we can start making some steam turbines. Start taking advantage of these volcanoes. I guess I could start working on the builds. Well, I do... I do sort of need steel to take advantage of any volcanoes. Um, that's right, I was putting off getting this because I didn't have steam turbines, but now we're going to have cold water. I read an article about spiking egg prices in the US. It was full of puns. Oh no. What was I about to do? I'm thinking about where to put steel. So we're gonna have... Well, we're at least gonna have to temporarily make iron the old-fashioned way, that's for sure. Heaven is getting scalded. Wait, why is it so hot here? It's actually hotter up here than it is in the crude oil. Well, that didn't work out the way I had in mind. Huh. Is it because it's touching this tile? Oh, it's down to 62. The copper volcano itself is 99 degrees, but I don't think it's, um... It's not actually outputting heat because it's not erupting. Hmm. Well, no matter how you look at it, we want to do some metal refining. Um... I guess I need to dig into this chlorine. 
And I wanted to do the metal refining a bit different this time. Um, if I use Atmo suits, I could actually put the metal refineries themselves in a steam room. Well, what Atmo suits am I going to make with no metal, no refined iron yet? How did I do it last time? I basically put it next to a steam room. And pumped liquid around. I suppose I could build metal refineries in a room with some water at the bottom at first, and the water's going to take heat from the metal refineries and flash to steam eventually, but not yet. So we should be able to get some recipes out of this. Um, before the water flashes to steam, before it's hot enough to scald even. And then once we have a bit of steel, we can make, uh, we can make what we need to, to take advantage of, wait a second, this thing's overheat temp is 75. I actually can't put this in a steam room. Um, maybe we could make it out of steel later. But it's definitely not an option now. So we'll have the coolant loop attached to the metal refinery go into an adjacent room for steam. How multi-purpose could I make this steam room? I definitely want to run polluted water through aqua tuners in it. We can do that pretty much anywhere because we're doing this main bus design. This is a good wide open space that I'm not using. I think it's ceramic for refinery for easy overheat temp. Uh, indeed. Can we even get ceramic yet? A kiln is actually incredibly easy except for the heat that it outputs. Uh, and ceramic, I'm sure we've already got research, right? Kiln. It's not like a separate thing you have to research even. Uh, what are we printing? Fertilizer? Sure. Let me just put down a kiln so we can see what it can do. Consider whether it would be worth uh, making this out of ceramic to begin with. So I'd need an airlock door, as in the modded airlock door, to keep the steam in. How many things would I want to put in the steam room if I'm going to do it this way? Definitely the rock crusher. But assuming that can be made of ceramic. I don't know, I think we're probably going to need steel to start this way. Punch 
Watch 22 if we want to avoid a temp build. Clay and coal. What's refined carbon used for again? Uh, to make steel. And nothing else. Alright. Let's just make one of these and see if it changes um, how it shows my options for building things. Might have to bump up the prio. There's the coal, and there it goes. Let me just grab some water. Oh wow, that was fast. I thought the ceramic could take a lot longer than that. Uh, let's see. You can indeed make metal refinery out of ceram uh, ceramic. 275 degree overheat. That's perfect. Uh, not so with the rock crusher. I'm sure we could make it out of steel. We only need the rock crusher for... Uh, what is it called? What what do the eggs break into again? Eggshell. Oh, come on. Uh, steel. Uh, lime. Lime is what we need. That's what we need the rock crusher for. Even if everything else is high tech. What else can the Rock Crusher do? Turn useful things into common things? And badly make refined metal. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason I used the Rock Crusher was Lime. Oh, and Table Salt, I guess. Okay. So if we can make Metal Refinery, we need 800 um, Ceramic. And normally I would make two metal refineries, one to make iron and one to make steel, because the only way to automate them in terms of, basically the only way to fully automate the recipes um, that I know of is to have one set to each recipe and then you can, for example, um, check the output with a weight plate and don't let the dupes store this anywhere unless you want like a full container of steel plus whatever drops on the weight plate for example or i guess you could set the weight plate to send out a signal if it receives if it if it detects anything um, and then limit it based on how much you allow to go into storage bins. That's perfectly valid as well. Although you can set the weight plate to go to two tons, which I think is a, is a pretty good start. At the very least. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, since we since we're gonna be getting refined iron uh, directly from the volcano, I dare say we can, in the meantime, manually set some recipes, and then we'll just set it to automatically make steel later on. So, one metal refinery, um, it's not going to be able to overheat unless the steam goes to 275. That can definitely go in the steam room, and I guess we could just have, I'll probably put, it would have to be made of steel. I might put a liquid reservoir next to it. Either that or I'd need a long section of pipe. I don't know exactly how much... Um... Uh, fluid goes into the metal refinery. I guess we could find out and then just deconstruct it. Where, where are my pipes? There's water up there. Let's see how just how much it is. If it's not too much, I could literally just contain the coolant fluid with... Just a loop of pipe, and not need a storage tank. Get it built fast, please. We're trying to figure stuff out. Fantastic. Good job, Larius. Good job, Evil Pla, except for waiting to give the thumbs up. Yeah, it is, qu it is actually quite a lot of liquid that goes into this. I believe we can see it down here. It's going to be like at least a ton. I think it probably is going to be a ton. Name a dupe, Mr. Ray Ray. Added to the list. We need three more dupes before you'll get a name, but uh, you are in mind. Good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Actually, maybe it's going to be like 750. I think this whole thing needs to be full before it'll allow a recipe to start. Why is it so hot here? Is it because it was made out of the ceramic? That just came out of the kiln? Hmm. Uh, anyway, it's 800 kilo. So, I don't know if... Um, you know what? Even though it's going to make a bunch of heat here that I'm not going to be thrilled with, uh, I'm going to run a little experiment. There will soon be free space, indeed. Wait, are you implying someone's going to die? They still would make the steel and drop it on the floor? Uh, yes. That's why I was going to use a weight plate. I've done it before. Uh, you need to know exactly where the steel comes out. I think it's on the right side here. Um... Not sure if you know this, but your stream tags are missing. Oh, true. I almost didn't find you today because I filter for English. Okay, then. Captain Moller. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not sure what else I should tag for Oni since I'm just playing vanilla. Um... I'm neither a beginner nor very experienced, I would say. Not sure how to say that succinctly. 
How much? Oh, we've got tons of lead now. Let's just do it like this. And I'm just going to do a single recipe and see if... Uh, I think we would need at least... At least one tile here empty of water, right? We should have a plumber who can remove this. To prevent this happening in future, click the follow button. <laughs> Indeed. Nox. Uh, I don't actually have someone who can do that. Let's just deconstruct it, and then we'll replace it. Kevin is getting lightly scalded. That's not even lead. Oh, don't tell me. Was Kedara walking over here to dig the iron out? No, he's picking up lead. Probably fine. How did Kedara not get scalded? Is it hotter over here? Uh, yeah, it is. It's significantly hotter the further we go to the left over here. Interesting. Maybe because this oil reservoir got to run? I'm pretty sure the oil comes out rather hot. Actually, it couldn't come out that hot because it evaporates at 400. But it doesn't need to be at 400. I have the follow button clicked from Factorio, but watch streamers by game that I'm playing, not a specific streamer usually. Fair enough. Alright, so now that we've done that, let's replace that bit of pipe. Okay, so here's what I want to know. If there's just one bit of empty fluid here, uh, is that enough to allow a recipe? We're just going to make one bit of iron, or 100 kilo iron. Uh, yes, yes it is. Wait, where did the water go? I guess that's two recipes worth? Or maybe it needs different amounts for different... Um, for different recipes and or larger amounts of fluids depending on the specific heat capacity. Let's hope it's not a scuffed generation of lava core with open tiles. ruh -roh. It started filling up the tank again. I think it holds two recipes worth of liquid. Indeed. I think the, uh... The game's actually inconsistent. I think it's the metal refinery that'll heat up the output fluid based on... Uh... You know, based on the specific heat capacity, etc. Alright, so that actually works. That's excellent. That means we obviously don't need a... How hot's the water? 58 degrees. If we were inclined to do this completely manually, we could just wait a while. Um, instead of having any specific heat management here. Um, that'll actually allow us to make a... Our first Atmo suit as well. What do we got? Doctoring, ranching. I kind of want a rancher. Luddite. Um, decreased construction, decreased machinery. Operating is one of his... Uh, that's not great. It, it was almost, almost a new dupe, but alas. Not sure the water in the tank is affected by the environment. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, it'll just very slowly drop temperature. 
I, th I think. Of course, it's going to drop so slowly that I can't even tell if it is dropping. If that's the case. We yeah, we should probably leave this here for a little while and find out. 41.5. Because... Hmm... If it never drops at all, then I'm gonna have to be careful about the temperature of the liquid going into the metal refinery, no matter how much we're controlling the ambient temperature around the metal refinery. in order to avoid flashing our polluted water or whatever we're going to use for coolant to steam or something. Of course, it would help if this thing would cool off faster. It's only a couple of degrees hotter than the ambient temperature right now. I do see oxygen coming off of it that is significantly hotter. Metal refinery itself is at 31.9. Is it just putting off hotter gas, even though it's not getting cooler? I believe the tanks have heat exchange, but it's very slow. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. But the bigger the temp difference, the quicker the heat exchange, right? Even if it, even if it does want to be slow. What is that? Oh, it's the lights. It's the glow. Thirty-one point eight degrees. The refinery itself has dropped point one of a degree so far. It probably has a pretty big thermal mass. Uh, what I could do is drop a little bit of water right next to it, and it should equalize with its environment much more quickly. Good job, Evil Plum. And Budgie Plum. Oh, come on. You could have finished that in another half second. I really want to see if this is going to work, because it's going to influence my design. Science project? Yeah. I always like to perform my own experiments wherever I can think of a way to prove or disprove what we expect to see. comes Evil Pla once he's done whatever he's doing. Never mind, it's Budgie Bum. Alright, now give us some water. Just a little bit. Um, enable auto bottle. Here we go. What, where are you taking that? No! Kedara is on the case. Good job, Kedara. And that'll do. Alright. We should see the temperatures changing here much more rapidly. Metal refinery at 31.4 degrees Celsius. 
already down to 30.7. 30.6. Oh, I didn't realize that water would be flowing off here. It's fine. It's already only a little bit above the ambient temperature. Okay, I think we can... I think we can safely conclude that at the very least, the fluid tank inside... Oh, the liquid tank, rather, inside the metal refinery is extremely uh, well insulated. I might do some sandbox testing with, with much more extreme temperature differences. Um, in fact, why don't I just do that real quick before we go today? Uh, let's see. Sandy box. Once it loads. Mach schnell bitte. Um, sure. Okay, so I'm gonna need probably easier if we do this in a vacuum, right? But I think we need duplicate input. Let's go with... What? Uh, sandbox mode. There we go. Metal refinery made out of ceramic, just to keep things consistent. And... How about some insulated tiles? Uh, I want this to be a vacuum for the moment. And... I guess put some ladders here. Airlock door. Need some power. Why don't I just borrow this? Powered? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, and then... Metal refinery. Uh, also power it with this, I guess. We can do two kilowatts on this wire. And we're gonna need... Some... Should we use water? Well, let's just try it. It's right here. Just let that fill up. Actually, won't the temperature change faster if there's less water? We've established that half full worked for at least iron. So, cut that off. We got 471 kilograms. Fantastic. And I didn't actually have to do that, did I? No, wait. Yeah, no, that's fine. Either way. Um, let's spawn some iron. And uh, iron ore to iron. Okay, so since it's in a vacuum, it shouldn't change temperature at all. 
What are you... What's the problem? Work errand. Yeah, there's a little bit of water left. What? Why are we idle? As is light? It's creative mode, indeed. Did a tornado run through your face? <laughs> indeed. What you're doing? Uh, just a little experiment with um, whether or not the contents of the metal refinery with the liquid uh, will change temperature with the atmosphere. Um, why is... Who, whose errand is this? Camille. Oh, Camille can't come in. Because May is standing that you absolute up. That there's your problem. Okay. No. Even in sandbox I have to deal with this. Uh Can we skip time forward or something? Bruh. I think they're set to be like immortal and immune to morale damage or anything. So maybe I could just put them on permanent work schedule. But whatever, it's almost over. Alright, please finish the job, and what do we get? Um, metal refinery at 23.8 degrees. I'm surprised how little it gained heat, actually. It was, what, 3.8 maybe? And the water is cycling. Oh, so it hasn't finished gaining heat, I think. Or has it? Alright, so our water is at 47.6 degrees. You would think it would equalize with the metal refinery by itself, but apparently not. Um, if we put in a bunch of cold air... Um, oxygen? Well, how about hydrogen? Hydrogen's more conductive. I think hydrogen's the most conductive gas. And we want it to be at negative 200 degrees. All right, so the room is full of rather cold hydrogen. In fact, it's so cold that if there was water in the pipe, it'd freeze. Uh, if this doesn't drop the temperature of the water that's in the metal refinery, nothing will. So the refinery itself is down to negative 40 degrees now. Negative 42. I'm pretty sure our water contents haven't changed. They're 47.6 degrees Celsius. Oh, we're gaining heat again. So that, that already more or less equalized. And the contents of the, uh, the water contained in the metal refinery isn't budging at all. Uh, obviously to be really thorough, um, we would have to run this for a while longer. But I think it's probably pretty safe to say that, nope, um, this actually does not change temperature at all, the water contained in the metal refinery. Which means that if we're worried about it flashing to steam, or whatever fluid we're using, if we don't want um, oil to turn into petroleum, although maybe that, maybe that might not be the worst thing. Oil... 
crude oil, solid crude oil liquid. Um, let's see. At 400 degrees, it becomes petroleum. It says it evaporates, though. I wonder if it would cause damage because it's technically evaporating. If there's like a momentary state of it being a gas or something. But maybe not. Uh, so petroleum can go all the way up to 538. That's not that much hotter. You can clean the water germs dead in containers. Indeed. Okay. So, yeah, we really do have to be careful about the temperature of a liquid before it goes into the refinery. Alright, good to know. Let's see who's streaming. The old oxygen not included. Discount engineer, we've raided a few times. More like brain not included. Uh, what else? Uncertain death. We're getting the hermit and maybe some plastic. Sure. Let's just check we can chat there and stuff. In that instance, I don't think the game recognizes the germs as being in a container, but the water itself? Liquid storage in space to radiate your germs? Just... So what, germs die in space, therefore if they're in a container in space, they die? That's weird. Alright. Let's drop in on Willow Rainy. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints for Factorio if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Crestorio 2 Space Exploration, wherein... We're expanding our universally uh, dispatched spaceships to go to more outposts. Take care, Evil Pla. Thanks for hanging out. And everyone else as well. Alright, off we go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Boop, boop, boop.